was a little bit different Instead the turkeys ate us They gobbled us apart But first they'd eat a nuts And then they'd eat a bus The turkeys ate us I can't do it My voice is too fucked up, I can't do it uh -uh. <laughs> I can't do it, man. Uh -uh. Oh my god. Thanksgiving is getting a little crazy. Cause human blood fucking might be the gravy. I can't do it. I lost my voice a couple of days ago and it's still gone. I still can't quite, I can't even talk for Christ's sake today. Uh, let alone sing the turkey song. So, hey, what's up? It's. Wrestling fans, it's AEW Dynamite. My God, what an ending. Bro, Sammy Guevara is dead. Sammy Guevara wrestled a match with a concussion. Um, I'm going 100% concussion. I know he landed on the shoulder. It could have been overall fatigue, you know, from waffling his kidneys into the ground that he knocked the wind out of himself at the very least. But nah, man, I think, I mean, maybe. Maybe he knocked the wind out of himself and that was the problem. But, dude, that looked like a concussion to me. But maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But, I, my God, dude. That guy, first of all, Tate Conti should have jumped in the ring and started beating up Scorpio Sky. Because there's no disqualifications. You're trying to buy time for Sammy to find out if he's okay or not. I would have had, if I was Tate Conti, I would have came in the ring and been like, stop it, he's hurt. Well, I'll just climb the ladder. And then, and then, and then she could have hit him in the nuts. You know what I mean? Hit him in the balls. And something like that to buy a lot of time. But, you know, whatever. It's hard. You deer in the headlights. Eventually, Tay Conti did start doing stuff, which was good. But, um, you know, it's hard to be in that position and figure it out. So, crazy, man. That was really crazy. Um, that, that was one of the... How about the crowd, dude? I'm sorry to talk right about the main event, but I got to, man. Well, how about the crowd, dude? That crowd was like, oh, Sammy's winning. F here we go. Sammy's winning. Okay. And they were like just committed to, okay, Sammy's winning. Boo. And when Scorpio Sky out of nowhere seemingly gets back in it at the very end, it was like, oh, my God, the crowd blew up. The crowd popped because they were like, holy crap, he's back in it. Oh, my God, Scorpio's going to do it. And then Sammy comes back again, and then it was again. It was just they had the crowd going. They really had the crowd going there. That was a great ending to a ladder match. That's one of the best endings to a, 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 I would call it a regular ladder match. Was supposed to be a double turn with Sky going face and Sammy going heel. Says Glenn. Um, I don't know, man. I, kind of. Maybe. But it was hard to figure it out once Sammy got hurt. That's the biggest mistake that could have happened because... The one thing you don't want is somebody who people kind of liked but are now supposed to boo getting hurt because now they're going to feel sorry for him. Like, oh, my God, is he okay? Because now, So now it's hard to boo that guy. So that was a very difficult situation to get through. Sammy Guevara jumped off a ladder and some kind of corkscrew 450. I missed what it was, actually, now that I think about it. But Scorpio missed catching him. Scorpio, what a mess. Horrible job by Scorpio Sky. I mean, he did not even... He got an arm out, sort of, but it didn't break the fall enough. That was That's a trust dive right there where it's like, I'm going to dive off the top of this thing, and I hope to hit you because I don't even want to land on the floor. And, man, he landed on the floor, and he didn't get any break in the fall, really, at all. And it was horrific how Sammy Guevara landed... Uh, that was very dangerous and very terrible. A lot of people think it was his shoulder, but I immediately saw the shoulder, but I think it was his just overall body. I believe it was a concussion. I think he rang his bell. I think he rang his bell and was slow after that, like, where where am I? And it, and it took about two to five minutes for him to come to. I wouldn't be surprised if he's puking right now in the back. But you got to give it to Sammy Guevara, man. The match should have been stopped, probably. Um, but you got to give it to uh, Sammy Guevara for, you know, being able to continue wrestling and 
and and he really shouldn't have probably. So, uh, you know, wow. I mean, I'm I am blown away that that match continued. I am blown away, but it ended up being really good. Like it was a really good match. So, I mean, we're going to get into everything that happened tonight. There's a lot to get to. Uh, and I'm going to start at the beginning, but we just had to talk about this. I, I thought the show tonight was really good. Th this really capped it off. It made it very good. Um, what is what is Welsh saying? What is what up, uh, Derek Hans? How you doing, Derek? What up, did what, what Welsh? What are you saying? By the way, I also want to shout out. Or obviously, I was live earlier today. I hope you guys checked that out. If you did, cool. If you missed my stream earlier today, go back and watch it. It was pretty fun. Uh, but nothing was as good as last night's stream, where we went until like four a.m. and uh, it was a just crazy night. Lots of shit to talk about. Lots of jokes to be made. And uh, donations were coming in like fire, like the fireball we saw tonight. And Drew Bar became the JCS Digital Champion. And it, hopefully, my hopefully I stay on the air tonight. There's been something wrong with my computer. I don't know what it is. It's like I, I'll be typing and then it will freeze and then it will continue. And um, I'm getting all these drop frames all the time. Something wrong with my computer. It's got, I think it's got to do with the. I think I need a new video card. I think something's wrong with my video card, so I, I don't know what the hell is going on. But even in, I'm playing Diablo and it's freezing and stuff, and uh, and it's telling me latency problems. But the internet's fine, and my wife's computer's fine, so it's something to do with my uh, computer. So I don't know, man. I'll have to fix it. I'll have to figure out what it is. I don't know what it is, but something's up. So if I drop tonight, that's probably what it is. But Drew Bar, congrats, man, on winning that JCS Digital Championship. Um. I don't know, man. It's pretty wild. I feel... I just... I'm surprised, man. I got to give it up for Sammy Guevara. But anyway, let's go into... Let's start reviewing the entire night now. Um, I I really do want to spend more time on this main event because this was unbelievable. And that's... It seems to be... You know, it's going to be what a lot of people want to talk about. And I get it because I, I want to talk about it, too. It was really good. Uh, Getty Lee, yeah, I, I've been trying to update my drivers. I think something's wrong with the updates. It's saying it, it won't update the drivers. I don't know what's going on, so I'm wondering if that's a problem. I don't know, but I think something's up. Um, but, yeah, it, it's – it's um. there's a lot to sort of talk about, but this main event was wild. I, I still can't believe Sammy Guevara finished that match. I thought it was going to be over. I thought they were going to stop that match. He got hurt. There's no way around it. He got hurt. Something's wrong. Whether it was wind knocked out of him, I believe it was a concussion. A lot of people are saying it was a shoulder. And we'll, we'll find out as we move forward. You know what I mean? But I think it was a concussion. I'm going to guess right now. And it may take a week or two or three or a while to hear a podcast or a DM or a tweet, rather, about what happened there with Sammy Guevara or if it just hurt. And he was rocked, but I think he had a concussion. I think he got his bell rung. And probably nobody would nor – people normally wouldn't continue, but a wrestler will. You know what I mean? But that, to me, looked like a concussion. So take that down how you want to take it. But how about the night starting off with FTR coming out there, man? Who knew? FTR, I, I didn't even realize they were facing each other tonight. Whether I haven't been paying attention, I haven't been watching, or whatever the case is, I didn't know. And here they come. They love Owen Hart, and I and I wish the commentary did a better job of this. I feel like the commentary team didn't do the justice for this match because the commentary team really could have built up how, you know, these guys are friends. You're going to see a lot of wrestling holds. You're going to see these guys try to beat each other um, with wrestling maneuvers and pins and things like that. Because they spar against each other before doing that stuff, but you're not going to see people unless, unless they unless they lose their temper, which could happen. It happens often in situations like this. Somebody loses their temper. Somebody loses. You know, competition brings out a different side of you. And if somebody loses their composure, this thing will change into a regular match, man, and they'll forget about it. But uh, you know, you got to believe going into this that they both plan on just trying to keep it easy, not get anybody hurt. They're the tag team champions of AAA and Ring of All, whatever else. You know, so you got to be careful. And I'm sure they discussed it 
and and they're going to come out and do a lot of wrestling holds. So some people may be, you know, you know, some people may be a little disappointed here, to be honest, because this is going to be a very, uh, you know, catches catch can type of style, which Owen Hart and Bret Hart certainly had, and this is the Owen Hart classic and blah blah blah. So they could have really built that up, and then, and then you know, one of the people, it would have been nice if one of the guys was a heel, or if even somebody was like. Maybe like uh, uh, Tony Schiavone. Tony Schiavone was like, I don't know, man. You know you know what can happen in these things. All bets are off when you get in there. Somebody gets angry. I'm telling you, something could happen. One of these guys could end up killing each, one another out there. And, you know, stuff that's been boiling on their minds throughout the years on the road. And you start thinking about all the bad things or little things that piss you off about your friend. And uh, it all just starts. You never know what can happen, man. You never. And. And, and the minute that that starts happening in the match where they start getting a little physical and slapping or punching or, I mean, I would have been like, here we go. See what I mean? It's breaking down now. The game plan's out the window. Well, no doubt about it. The game plan's out the window. Dax is firing off shots now, and this isn't what they planned on. you know. And, and that would have been, I think the commentary could have told a better story. And if we had a promo from these guys, hey, we're going to go out there. Obviously, we're going to have a little wrestling match. We're going to take it easy. You know, we don't want to lose our titles. We're going to go out there. We have a very, we've already figured out, you know, hey, man, we're not going to be, you know, we're not going to be DDTing each other and doing something that could break a neck or hurt, you know. But we're going to go out there. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a wrestling match. And then it would be great to see how this turned out because they set it up that way. They got rougher and rougher and rougher. They started very soft, and then they got rougher and rougher. And they did that on purpose because no two guys that love each other that are tag team partners are going to go out there and then just start slugging each other right away. I see this sometimes with other tag teams when they fight each other, and it's the stupidest thing. The only one thing that I would have gotten rid of in this match is the pile driver. That is That should have been huge. When he pile drove him, that should have been a big thing. Like... Like, no, you got to be, he's going to pile drive his, his, his tag team partner. What the hell? Oh, my God. All bets are off now. Like, that sort of thing. Like, what is he doing? That's it. That's it. They're done. That's it. He snapped. He snapped. Everything's out the window now. He just delivered a pile driver to your tag team partner. You could break a neck, paralyze somebody. They, this is everything that they planned on is out the window now. And now we're seeing anything goes. This is getting interesting, boys. But they didn't really do that. Now, CM Punk tried to do it. CM Punk was there, to, and he was kind of doing it. In fact, I forgot CM Punk was on commentary. So CM Punk should have been the guy, and he was, but he should have been the guy even more to be like, Nah, man, I've seen this before. This doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they tell you before. Oh, we're going to start the match wrestling and everything. When they get down in it, Something, somebody's going to make a move. Somebody's going to go against the grain. Somebody's going to break whatever rules that they came up with for the last couple of days or whatever. Somebody is going to cross the line. You watch what happens. I've seen it before. And then CM Punk could have been like, see, here it comes. Here it comes. And and they they sort of didn't do that. You know what I mean? They, they, they sort of didn't do that. They sort of just... Um, they, they, they sort of did a little bit, but they really could have laid that on and told this story better. They did a really good job for the most part, but it could have been so much better. Anyway, I'm sorry to rant on this and go deep down the rabbit hole on it. I just think that they could have done a little bit more with it, but I loved it. I still loved it. I loved it. I loved the way it progressed into a fight more of a real match as opposed to how it started, which the catch, catch, can, the wrist locks, wrestling holds, the ups and downs, and the stuff that you would do if you were going to have a friendly competition with your friend or a competitive competition with your friend, you wouldn't just start slugging each other in the throat. You know what I mean? So it made great sense. The match made perfect sense. I would have eliminated the pile driver because I think once you do a pile driver, it's kind of like, ooh. And I know it was a lot of Owen Hart type of moves, and that was the, you know, whatever. I get it. It was great. I just thought, you know, a little too far with the pile driver. But I thought also if you're going to do the pile driver, the announcers, the commentary team should have popped. Like, oh, boy. Like, now they, they did mention it. They did say you could, you could you know, hurt your tag team partner, you know. But it was like they should have laid it on more. Like, oh, man, it's out the window now. It's... If Jesse Ventura was there, he would say that. You know what I mean? Like, well, these guys, you know, they're friends, and, you know, we're going to see a little competition here. We're probably not going to get too much, 
physicality, though, because I'm sure they've agreed on some things to certain moves they're not going to do and stuff. You know, so, wow, it's been a lot. You've never been in the, be- the the wrestling business, have you? What do you mean, Jesse? You know, you think these guys are really going to stick to the game plan of wrestling and wrist locks? Oh, I'll be here when it breaks down. Okay, Jesse, all right. And, you know, and then it would have been, been great. Told you. Here it comes, a pile driver. He could have broke his neck. You think that they're they're thinking clearly now? They're thinking about the ch- the trophy, the Owen Hart. They're thinking about who loves Owen more. They're not thinking about each other anymore. A pile driver. Here we go. I told you. You know that sort of thing. Like it would have been great if we had that sort of combativeness on the commentary. We didn't quite get it, but it would have been beautiful if they had done that. You know what I mean? So they missed a big opportunity there because I think this was a great match and a good setup, maybe a 7-5 or an 8 out of 10, probably an 8 out of 10 opening match. Nice stuff, good way to warm the crowd up, nice honor to Owen. You know, Dax and Wheeler loving it. You know, they had a good time. I loved the match. Um, Great stuff. The match was long. It was 20 minutes. The first 20 minutes was this. CM Punk on commentary was beautiful as well. But th- this could have been an 8-5 or a 9, in my opinion, if the commentary really sold the hell out of it. You know, it could have been an 8-5, 8-8 situation, but I'd have to give it a 7-5, 8 out of 10. Um, so nice opening, though. But, yeah, just my little complaint department there. My, you know, sorry about that to complain, but got to do it. S- Super S- chat party S- coming in from... Super chat party! Mr. Pico Boulevard. Oh, yeah? Lance Archer, same win total in year as Lance Cade. Lance Archer, same win total in the year as Lance Cade. That's that's fucking fucked up, bro. Uh, Mr. Pico Boulevard, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> Lance Archer is just not good, bro. He did a good job taking those power bombs tonight, though. I will say that. But good Lord, he's not good. You know, Lance Archer. And if everybody gets in my way, everybody dies. Him and Jake Roberts are on like my doll or something. Like, you I don't know donated oh, shit. 50 bucks. Whoa. I'm going to take my dick out because you donated Whoa. 50 bucks. You donated 50 bucks, motherfucker boy. I'm a rich motherfucker. Joe Cronin in the cut. <laughs> Is that the movie I'm going to be in? Joe Cronin stars in the new movie, The Cut, from The Ghost. From the coast. What's up, crackers? Hit that like button and stick the thumb directly up my ass. The ghost from the coast. Thank you, ghost from the coast, man. It's great to hear from you. Holy shit, man. He dropped 50 bucks. Dude, after the other night of all the bombs, and then this guy is still coming in tonight to drop $50. Ghost, thank you, man. The coast. From the cost? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, ghost from the coast. Thank you very much, Ghost. Much appreciated, bro. Uh, we'll get you up there, man. You you may be taking over Drew Bar's title. Drew Bar uh, could be relinquishing the JCS Digital Championship belt tonight. Uh, I don't think anybody is going to be able to... Uh, you know, I mean, he had a great, great showing the other night. So I just want to shout him out one more time. The other night, Drew Bar 100 took that JCS Digital Championship top donations easily with $201 donated. It was a spirit animal like performance from him the other night. So thank you to Drew Bar. But tonight, somebody has the chance to become the new JCS Digital Champion. And right now, it's the ghost from the coast, and we'll be tweeting this out later if he wins it. Um, but moving on back to everything. So CM Punk's on commentary. I enjoyed that. Like I said, I think the, the commentary could have been better to sell. Like, oh, my God, they were wrestling, and, and, and now it's turned into a real fight. Friendships don't matter when you're pissed off. You know, they could have been all these lines. They didn't use them. But uh, whatever. CM Punk comes out. Thank you. Ghost from the coast with a huge $50 bomb. That's a bomb, bro. That's a bomb on a Wednesday night. No doubt about it, sir. Man, thank you so much for that, man. I can't even believe that. We're on some kind of a roll three nights in a row, bro. 
Thank you, man. What the hell? I was bleeding last night. I did. I broke glass everywhere. I broke plates everywhere. And I got and I busted myself wide open and I broke plates all over the place. So uh my wife wasn't too happy that I broke one of her favorite plates, but you know. Here's some tampon money. You know what I mean? So hey. Whoa, what? Oh my god! What are we doing every night? Every night in the spot all day. What are we doing? Oh my god! This is out of control! It's the sound wave! It's the sound wave 92! Oh my god! Decent episode but nothing amazing. 7 tenths Sammy was lucky he only got concussed after that Spanish fly and Scorpio must have felt like shit after missing that spot. Props to Sammy for powering through it but he is a fucking idiot for doing that. Yeah, that was crazy man, but I, I, oh my god bro, Soundwave $100. $100 from Soundwave 92! Last night Shell showed up too! No, I gotta give it, I get it. I get Sammy Guevara, I totally get it. When you're there to put over another guy and then you get hurt like that, all you can think about is I got to get up for him. I got to be there to put him over. I got to do it. He's got to win this the right way. I've got to do it. And that's what goes through your mindset. You know what I mean? That goes through your mind that you've got to do it for him. But the funny thing is the guy didn't even catch you a few minutes ago. So, you know, you should be like, well, fuck you. You didn't catch me. You know, I know I was supposed to put you over, but you didn't fucking catch me. He should have stayed down and then started convulsing and puking. That's what he should have done. That would have been terrifying and terrible, but uh but yeah, so you got to give it to Sammy Guevara, but it is natural instinct to be like, "Nope, I'm going. I'm going." Now, we could be wrong. Maybe he wasn't that hurt and he just got the wind knocked out of him and he felt he could go on, but I believe he was concussed. 100% believe he was concussed. And he's going to kill himself someday, and I've been saying that, the way he does stuff. And this is a rude awakening that that guy wasn't there for you. Scorpio Sky was not there for him. Scorpio was thinking about, oh, accepting him and then falling backwards. But Scorpio needed to make the adjustment to move to wherever Sammy is. And he didn't do it. He, he closed his eyes and moved before Sammy ever got halfway down. And so, big mistake by Scorpio Sky. And that's Scorpio's fault. And Sammy, despite Scorpio fucking up, in my opinion, um, Sammy Guevara busted his ass to try to stay in that match somehow. He even did the Owen Hart roll-up. Dude, he basically did the Owen Hart roll-up on Stone Cold Steve Austin, the Stone Cold roll-up on Owen Hart. He rolled over with the help of the referee and then pushed the ladder over, and then Scorpio had to sell it. Like, there's no way he could push that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you saw what he did. Like, that was all to buy time. Now, Tate Conti should have jumped in the ring and assaulted Scorpio, hit him in the balls or something. That way they could have carried on a little bit delayed. She could have ran some interference there to help him out. But, you know, she's fucking an idiot, so she didn't think of that. Um, but, you know, again, so the guy busted his ass to make sure he was there to sell the deal and put you over. And, yeah, Derek, I have I do remember you always saying that. I'm somebody who doesn't mind it, though. I don't mind a reckless person if they want to be reckless, but they better be ready for what could happen. Because I like Sammy, and I hope he doesn't really change. I kind of like him. I think sometimes he needs to dial it back a little bit sometimes. But this match was really good. Unfortunately, it did stall in the middle because of that injury. He, he got injured. So because of that injury, it did stall in the middle a little bit. But, you know, it's like then it got better. It, it was, like, amazing because of that, that he kept going. And then it got better again, and they did little things. Like, he couldn't even really get the Spanish fly because he was so out of it. They hit his face off the ladder. It was just like, dude, this guy's going to get killed. So, and then the match got better and better, and then it got to the point where it seemed regular again because Sammy, I think, came out of his uh, concussion. Um, he did. He mouthed the words, oh, shit, Big Merc. Big Merc, you're right. He landed, and he went, oh, shit, because he knew he was fucked up. 
And I don't know if he got the wind knocked out of him, but I think he was concussed. So I, 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 I literally would bet my my house he got he got concussed. You know what I mean? So whatever he went through it and he carried on and he did what he had to do. Back in the day, we'd call that badass. You know what I mean? Doing what you have to do. He did what he had to do. He put over the guy he had to put over because he probably thought, listen, if I'm fucked up and injured and I got to take a break for a while, whatever. I'm making sure this guy gets put over. But you saw physically he couldn't do it for about three minutes. For three minutes, there was no Sammy home. I guarantee it. Then CM Punk came out and ta- started talking some crazy trash, and some fan behind him yelled like a weirdo. Listen to this. Months ago, before I walked through the curtain for the first time in seven years, I asked myself a question, and that question was, can I still do this? Yeah! <laughs> By the way, the guy that just yelled at, yeah! I mean, dude, it, I mean, this guy's in Antifa, all right? Wait till you, wait, wait, I'm going to... I'm going to pause it on the guy. Here he is. Let's pause it on the guy that's yelling yeah behind uh, CM Punk here. Yeah! This guy looks like a fucking demon bat, bro. Right in CM Punk's ear. Right in CM Punk's ear. Like this guy's like, yeah! And you heard him, right? Because it's fucking loud. Because he's in, he's like right on the mic. God bless if I was this guy, I would yell something crazy because I'd be like, oh, he's got the mic. It will pick me up. I would yell something nuts. I would probably yell, die Ryback. You know what I mean? Remember the time I was at Hell in the Cell and you guys could hear me yelling? I was telling, what was I saying? I was telling Roman Reigns or Rusev. I was telling him to hit himself with it and then stuff it up their ass. And you guys were tweeting me. Actually, what happened at first was people were tweeting me, do you hear the guy in the crowd telling him to hit himself with it? You guys were tweeting me, do you hear the guy in the crowd? And I said, yes, that's me. <laughs> dude, that, I would have yelled, die right back, die! <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, that would have been hilarious, dude, this guy. I mean, give it to him, though. He's got a set of hair. You know, I'm losing my hair. This guy at least has some hair. Although he's got some weird thing going on here where it, curls up or whatever i don't know but um he kind of looks like like the vampire hair like that you see in those old vampire movies and then in little nicky remember he's got the breasts on his head it's a little different but uh yeah i give it up for him cm punk comes out cuts a nice promo dan lambert and scorpio sky cut an interesting promo i mean dan lambert i mean it's weird because they're supposed to be heel and dan lambert i'm assuming they're going to turn on dan lambert any minute because Dan Lambert's going to be like, you guys didn't listen to me. And he's like, I got the TNT belt. What the hell are you talking about? He's like, yeah, but you should have more. Or whatever the hell the case. I don't know. But I would think that if this is a double turn, that, you know, you would see. How can Dan Lambert be good? You know what I mean? Philly crowd's not here for that. This Philly crowd is here to see me beat your ass and take back what's rightfully mine. There can only be one face of TNT and you're looking at it. So, what we- It's pretty good. Pretty good promo from Scorpio. Dan Lambert stays in the background. Um I don't know, bro. That guy literally knows nothing or what a pussy is. Okay, well, he probably doesn't. Uh Gary Batman is here, so give it up for him in the chat. Good to see Gary Batman back again, baby. Good Gary Batman. It's always great to see you uh here. Oh, oh shit! Everyone knows Another fifty dollars coming in! Yo, Holy crap! No romance, cause there ain't no chance in my happy pants. Could you put a chance? Come and take this dance. This is fucking here. crazy, guys. Todd. Todd Fair. Todd. Put it in a happy rhyme, motherfucker. It's Gluck Cluck. Yeah, Gluck Cluck. Bang bang tick tock. Fucking fucking fuck suck. suck. Oil shock. Thank you, Todd Fair. What's up? I, this I is crazy. Clock, clock. Got to set up Streamlabs, so Streamlabs from now on. Oh, baby, that means 30% more money for me. Thank you, Todd Fair. That is very nice of you, bro. When you convert over to Streamlabs or Stream Elements, uh, they, nobody takes 30%, so that's fire, dude, and I get it right away. That's very nice of you. 
but do whatever you can, man. Whatever you want to do and whatever works for you is fine. Um, but that's fucking fire, bro. Holy shit. Holy shit, Todd Fair. Yeah, the fireball too, man. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, Wheelie Uta, uh, Dean. Uh, oh my God, Dean Hembrose. Oh my God, John Moxley, Uta, and Daniel Bryan. Good performance. They're on fire with their little group there. It's looking pretty good. It's working out. I think it's a little weird. You know, it's hard to get. I don't know. It's okay though. It's not the greatest thing, but it's nice. It's a solid uh, team. It's working out. You know, so that's good news. The best part. Of waking up is Wardlow in your cup, bro. Let me tell you something. They lead this guy out like he's in fucking shackles. I love this. I love this every week. I love it more. The popcorn of MJF and the chairman sitting there watching while Wardlow is let out in handcuffs. Dude, this is fucking awesome. I absolutely love this. This is one of the best stories in the past three years. In the past three years, in any wrestling, it's one of the best stories. It's phenomenal, bro. It's phenomenal. And let me uh, go ahead and update this. Soundwave92 is now the top donation. Thank you, Soundwave, for doing that, man. Holy shit, bro. Uh, and it looks like uh, Soundwave actually will is now the new JCS. Will, could take home the JCS Digital Championship tonight. He could take it home tonight. Take me home tonight. What do you guys think? Do you think Wardlow is the best story going as far as anything? Or I mean, you don't have to. You might not. You might think, eh, it's okay. But I, it's my favorite thing. I, I love what's going on with that. It's one of the best mid-card stories. It's clearly a mid-card story to me. Um, but it's moving its way up that tier, and there's no belt involved. I mean, it's phenomenal. To have that is really a good sign. It's really a good sign to have that. To have the, you know, there's no belt. It's all these other things that are going on. That is so great to have that be your situation you're in. Because all these other things are going on. I mean, dude, it's just extra. Like, it's not a belt. You know, the only thing would be sweeter is if there was a belt, but you don't need it, you know? So, I don't know, man. Give it up. It's really cool. Right now, Soundwave is the JCS digital champion. He could take it home $100. Soundwave, good to hear from you, man. He didn't he didn't even see last night that Shell came back, so he was pretty pumped earlier when I was telling him that, hey, Shell came back. Yeah, well, it's not that she came back, it's that she made an appearance. She's always watching. She's just not always in the chat. And she uh she decided to uh stress the eyes and jump in and go for it last night. So thank you. Uh and again, Drew Bar last night with that JCS digital championship. But tonight, it could be Soundwave 92 taking over. Whoa! Oh my God, D. Welsh is here again! We plan the spot all day. D. Welsh is here again! Woo! What? 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 what was that voice? That, you see how I'm losing my voice? Did you guys hear that? What the fuck was that? Woo! Dude, what is wrong? Where is D. Welsh getting this money from? My God, he's got never ending funds! I've got no voice! Oh my god. Whoa. Just when you thought the bombs were finished. Oh my god! The bombs are still going on! Three days in a row! Jesus Christ, dude! Oh my god! Dude! That voice crack was epic. We got to go back and listen to that, bro. Uh, D. Welsh, I can't thank you enough, man. This is insane. Dude, three days in a row with these donations. What is going on? What is going on, dude? I cannot believe that D. Welsh just did that, bro. What are you guys... What is happening? Are we in a parallel universe where the JCS Army hit the lottery? Dude, I, I had $200 in my bank account yesterday. I was about to be negative in my bank account, and you guys have, like, this is insane, bro. What is going on? And Soundwave, uh, both of you guys are on the board now. Jesus. 
Wow. Okay. So these guys are going to tie for the JCS Digital Championship with $100. That's crazy, bro. What is going on? Holy shit. All right. Well, where, where did we leave off? We left off with Wardlow and Lance Archer, who Lance Archer's been a Neanderthal moron. Uh, but so we knew he wasn't going to win tonight, obviously. Uh, Jake the Snake Roberts wasn't there. I no, oh, he was there rather. I mean, I was trying to say he was there, but I was looking at two different things. Let's just before we get on and we get back to the mat. Before we get back to this match with Wardlow and this whole situation that I really love and I do want to talk about it. But before we get back to that, let me just do one little thing here. Let me just quickly play my voice cracking because that was too fucking hilarious. I am a loser. Let's listen to that real quick, and we got to grab an audio clip of this. We got to grab an audio clip of this. Because it sounds like it's going crazy. Andre Lavandera, what's up, man? Man, it's crazy. I, I don't know, man. This is wild. These last two days were some of the craziest days in a long time. We haven't seen donations like that in three years. And then to continue tonight like, like this, even though it's like the mini version of last night and the night before, I mean, so far, that's crazy. Listen to this. D. Welsh is here again! Watch this. What? What? <laughs> Watch this. What? Oh my god, dude. What happened to my voice there? Oh my god. Wait till Leah sees this. I can't wait for my wife to see this. What? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god. We gotta record that. Hold on a minute. Let me record that. Let's go back. Let's get that on recording so I can send that to Leah. And we plan the spot all day. D Welsh is here again. Woo! What? 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 <laughs> what was that? Woo! 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 Dude, it sounds like it's it's like the new um the new red alert for the Starship Enterprise when Star Trek returns in 2022. Like, shields up, red alert. <laughs> Dude, that's how messed up my voice is. Joe went full estrogen. I took too much, much estrogen. Dude, what did someone say the other day about somebody corpsing or whatever? Who the fuck said that? Was it Jag to Panzer? Somebody said something the other day when I was doing that weird thing, and I was like, ugh. And somebody said something funny as shit, and I don't remember what it was now, but it was really funny. Oh, my God, bro, it was really funny. I got to send that clip to Leah. Where is that clip, dude? Oh, my God. Where is this? Let's play that and send that to Leah. She's going to fucking die. Oh, yeah, here it is. Uh, let's go back. Let's get that on recording so I can send that to Leah. And we plan the spot all day. D Welsh is here again. Woo! What? What? All right. Thank you, guys. Sorry. I just had to humor me there because I got I to gotta send that to her. She's going to die. Uh, she is going to die when I see this. <clears throat> Let me resume the donos. Um, Mr. Pico Boulevard. Super chat party. Oh, yeah? Lance Archer next job, KFC. Sells everybody oh. thighs. I wish I could work with him. I wish I could work with Lance Archer. Because I think, I mean, like, listen... What I don't understand is he's got Jake Roberts working with him. Why doesn't? Why can't they all fix him? Why can't they be like, dude, you can't be like, every day. Like, you can't do that. That is the dumbest shit ever. Don't do that. Stop doing that. Why is there nobody to work with Lance Archer who can be like, yeah, dude, don't do that shit. It's really stupid. Don't do it. That You to jam me Shields up! Red alert! Red alert! Oh my god! Oh my god, the sound wave! 
paid $92,150! Eddie and Jericho had the best segment tonight. The presentation felt cheap especially when Santana threw the water bottle and stained the ring and it stayed there the rest of the night. Yeah. Then Jericho threw the fireball in Eddie's face and I lost it. Yeah, dude, that was crazy. I loved that. I loved that I loved that the Eddie was like, We're gonna do something to you, we're gonna kill you. Basically being like, We're gonna kill someone you love or kill you. Like they were getting really borderline about what the fuck was going on there. And then I love that Jericho and his guys turned the table and they actually did something crazy and they dropped a fireball. They dropped a freaking fireball, bro. That was awesome. Um, I, I, I love that. The, and they had to do that because it's like, what are you going to do? You're going to make the other guys the bad guys? I thought that Jericho was supposed to be the bad guys. So they got to do something crazy. And they did. Oh my God! I did. I liked it. I did like it. I I liked the I liked the Jericho called him a bitch. Then he called him a bitch back. Usually, like the bitch thing gets old, but it was like bitchity bitch bitch bitch. And then on top of that, Soundwave ninety two comes in and donates a hundred and fifty dollars and says, "You know what? Fuck this! I'm not being on the belt with Welsh. I want the I want the belt to myself. So let's erase Welsh." A race Welsh, a fucking tongue twister there, and Soundwave92 is now in command of the JCS Digital Championship. We'll tweet this out later if this happens. But right now, he's solid command. Soundwave, man, thank you. And on some nights where nobody is around or nobody's able to donate and stuff like that, and I'm doing my shows, Soundwave is always there to drop $10, 20 30 40 50 $60. Even if not many other people are donating, Soundwave is always usually there. And I think Soundwave saw everybody, I don't know, saw everybody step up their the game last couple of days, and Soundwave was like, well, fuck this. I'm going all in. I owe that guy a breakfast. Soundwave, if you ever want to hang out for breakfast or what, I don't know why breakfast, anything, you let me know, man. We got to hang out someday, you know, because you're not that far away. You ever want to do something, bro, you just message me. I owe you something. I don't know what that is. A BJ? I don't know. Um, but no. Man, you guys are really pissing the trolls off. You should have seen the trolls yesterday. They were furious that you guys were donating. I was getting email threats. That's how bad it was. People were threatening me in emails. It was crazy. Like, that was all because of donations. Can you imagine that, bro? Someone's sitting there that mad that I'm getting, like, we're getting support. And, and, now, and people were still teasing me in emails. They were like, ha-ha, this person's gone. That person's done with you. You're fucked. You're dead. And I was like, okay, that's weird. You know, I get donations from other people, and then they start pl saying like, and someone mentioned Shell in an email too, and then Shell donated. I thought that was hilarious. I thought that was funny that somebody, some troll sent me an email that was like, ha-ha, Shell's gone, you loser. It's like, no, she's not, you dumb fuck. Um, and then literally like two hours later, she donated $100, so... I hope that guy stayed up to see that. So it's like, dude, you you don't bother sending me. You know what I mean? Don't bother. It's who care? I don't care. Like it doesn't matter. What are you what are you doing? You know what I mean? You, if anything, you should troll harder when you don't do well, right? Why would you troll more when you're doing well? Why wouldn't you try to put me down when I'm doing bad? That would make more sense cuz I'm like feeling shitty and stuff sucks. And then you shit on me. Like, that makes sense. But, like, when I'm doing well and everybody's having a good time, why would you try to shit on me then? Because I'll just laugh. You know what I mean? Just like, ah, like, what the fuck? I don't know. Anyway, weird. Weird shit, bro. Coming out of the woodwork. But the fireball was great. What did you guys think? Rate the fireball. Rate the Kingston story. I don't even know. I'm going to put out a poll. Everybody in the chat, let me know in the chat right now. Type it in. If you're not at the chat, jump over to the chat. Jump to your tablet. If you're on Xbox or computer or something, if you can, grab your phone, blah, blah, blah. Jump in the chat and say, tell me, what was your favorite match of the night? What was your favorite thing of the night? Segment, match, whatever. Just drop it in the chat. I want to see what you guys say because I want to put a poll up and see what everybody's match of the night was. Um, or a segment of the night. doesn't matter. And I can only put four things on the poll. So I'm going to take a look at what you guys are saying, and I'm going to drop uh, those in there. Joe ready to buy two McGriddles call it, and call it a day. Slow death. What up? I'd have a couple of McGriddles. Yeah, fuck, fuck rating the match. Never mind. Rate the. Tell me what your favorite segment or match of the whole night was. Could be segment, promo, match, whatever. Um, and maybe uh, let's see let's see what people say. So we got um, 
so I think the opening match, Dax and uh, Hardwood, Dax and Cash. Um, ladder match, Dax and Cash, Wardlow. Um, I definitely think that the FTR match is, is going to be on this list. So The ghost from the coast says, I'm from Florida where I fuck alligators and trolls. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I count Wardlow MJF as, as like the same thing. So now, okay, so I've got ladder match, Dax and Cash, and Wardlow MJF. Now we need a fourth thing. Give me a, what's a fourth thing we could add? Because I got the FTR match. That's definitely going on the list. And, uh, okay, we didn't have Sammy. Uh, we have the ladder match. Yeah, we have the ladder match. So that's on there. Is there anything else that was good? It sounds like there wasn't. It sounds like there wasn't really a fourth thing because those are really everything we're getting. Uh, the Sheeta match, like the MJF promo, mine was uh, Deeb and Sheeta match. I'll put Deeb and Sheeta on there because I thought it was all right. That was a pretty good match. It just was like could have used a little more. Um, I'll put the, I'll, we'll make that. We'll finalize it there because I don't think we can come up with something else. So, um, Sammy Scorpio. Ladder match. Wardlow, MJF, FTR, singles match, and then we'll go uh, Sheeta versus Deeb. Um, and I'll say best thing of the night. But now I. Th but oh, here's the thing. Don't you want to? Do you want to put Eddie Kingston and 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 Jericho? Fe yeah, Ray Phoenix returned. Yeah, I mean, I I really think we got to figure this out a little more because. Okay, guys, in the chat right now, in the chat right now, what do you want on the list? Sheeta versus Deeb? Or do you want Ray Phoenix returning? Or do you want the Fireball? Let me know in the chat. What do you think? Fireball, Phoenix, Sheeta, Deeb. Those are the three things that are going to get put forth on the list. But we've got to pick them right now in the chat. So, uh, yeah, drop that in the chat and let me know what you think. I'm watching my chat right now. so Or there could be something else. Throw it all in there. Uh, this will be the fourth thing on the list, but we got to get it in. Sheeta should have won that match. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what was up uh, there exactly, but Sheeta's sexy ass. Um, fireball, Fireball, Deeb, Fireball, Fireball, Returning Ray. I think I think Ray returning is number two, but I think the Fireball is going to win it. I think people want to see the Fireball on here, so I'm going to put the Fireball on. I'm going to take Sheeta and Deeb off because I don't think it would have won. I'm going to go Fireball situation. So all right, I'll put that on there. Um, controversial, but I'm going to do it. So that's on there, and now you guys can vote on what you think the best thing. Um, but I did love Ray Phoenix returning, and I I do feel bad. I don't feel bad at all. I, I just feel bad we didn't put him on the list because, like, again, that was awesome. I mean, you know, remember how bad it was he got hurt and the injury that he sustained and how, you know, worried about him we were and down we were about it. And I like that JR said on any given night, you know, this is one of the best guys. This guy is scary, dangerous or something like that, and he's right, man. Re Phoenix has been unbelievable. And, and the guy... You know, if you get this guy in singles matches with guys like Scorpio Sky and Sammy Guevara and Darby Allen in ladder matches for the TNT title and things like that, I mean, th those can be really good matches. So, best thing of the night. There's 42 votes right now. And it's really close here. We got close competition going on. Right now, the Fireball is winning. Wow. I am shocked by that. The fireball is actually winning. Good thing we put it on there. That was the that was a la leftover. That was a like a last minute or a la or yeah wow. But uh, Sammy Scorp ladder match is tied with the Wardlow match with MJF and Wardlow, and FTR singles match is actually in last place right now. Interesting so far. Now there's only 44 votes, and I know a lot more votes are going to be coming in, so. There's 200 people watching. While you're voting for this, guys, make sure you also click the like button and stick the thumb directly up my ass. Also looks like Soundwave92 might be taking home that JCS Digital Championship. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It doesn't end. We what the hell? Spot all day. I want 
to the jam it Do we keep them going? Oh my god, they just won't end! True Bar 100! Oh my god, bro, this is... This is some kind of record. I've never seen three days in a row where over $500 in donations three days in a row. I don't remember that ever happening. This is some kind of a streak. I mean, maybe, I think. Like, seriously, this is insane, bro. On a Tuesday night out of nowhere, people are dropping bombs. Monday night was crazy, or whatever it was. Now, Wednesday night, it's crazy. Dude, what in the hell is going on? It just won't stop. I may have to get Leah down here and pour Jack Daniels all over her tits. Like, this is crazy. What the fuck is going on, bro? This party don't stop. We might go again tonight. It's 10.53. Let me go to the... Uh, oh, my God, bro. Was that Drew Bar? Last night's champion. Last night's date, JCS Digital Champion. It gave me nothing but pleasure to tweet out the fact that this man was the JCS digital champion last night. And it was fun tweeting it out. And we did... Oh, no, we did the Jimmy Uso stream earlier today, too. But now it looks like Soundwave 92. But so, Drew Bar, thank you for that $100. Last night was Drew Bar, and now uh, he drops 100 Doesn't beat Soundwave 92's 150 tonight. It could be the man. Soundwave keeping it, though. Jesus, I can't believe that. I like I like Serena Deeb and I kind of like Sheeta. There's times where they where they have problems, especially Sheeta, but then there's times where she has great matches. So it's hard to say sometimes what she's going to do, but I like her. She's coming, you know, she's a little bit better than some of the other people that have that same issue, you know. And I definitely like Deeb for sure. S Alex S Oli, what's going S on, man? I can't believe this. Super chat party. Oh, yeah? Title going on punk at double or nothing for sure. The title is going on punk at double or nothing. Wow. You might be right. You might be right. It's got to be, right? I mean, the only thing I was thinking was that some bad guy would interfere and take out CM Punk. You know what I mean? And that... that so it's like Cowboy gets to keep it, but the story is that somebody's attacked Punk, and now Punk goes on to have a rivalry with somebody. But it's weird to do that do at Double or Nothing. Do a basketball you know? dance off the concrete. Know. I mean, I'm just so sick of you little meth head devil worshippers. Oh. I'll be honest. I'd like to take a big bite out of your face. Punk is winning. Welcome to the galaxy. Fuck the trolls. Get well, scared. <laughs> get scared, baby. Colonel Stutters. Get scared, brother. Welcome to the AEW Galaxy. Welcome to the JCS Galaxy. Holy shit, bro. Where the JCS Army uh, funds the show like maniacs, bro. Bro, you're going to make trolls kill themselves. Trolls are going to kill themselves over these donations coming to me. This is unbelievable. Colonel Stutters, thank you for the 10, my friend. You just paid for Leah's cigarettes. Sorry. <laughs> If I could only get her to stop smoking, it's like, I don't know. Oh!
jungle. Drew Barr, Ghost, Hilton. And the High Rollers. I'm calling your asses out. Holy shit! D. Welsh, Drew Barr, Ghost, and Hilton. Wow, doxed. And High Rollers, I'm calling your ass out! There goes Welsh doxing people. $200 bomb from Welsh! This is fucking crazy! What do you think of this, Lindsay the whore? Oh my god, I totally can't believe it. there's so many people supporting the show. Thank you so much. My father now has money for me. I'm Joe Cronin's fourth kid. My name is Lindsay. I'm his fourth kid. You don't know about me. But um, anyway, thank you so much. I can't believe this. Oh my god, I can't wait to put all this money in my jewelry box and then I'm going to chop off my dad's winky. <laughs> Get out of here. What do you Don't say that on camera. I don't know what the hell that was, man, but I what's wrong with her? Anyway, D Welsh, oh my god, bro. D Welsh, $200. He is now on pace to become the JCS Digital Champion. The fucking JCS Digital Champion. I can't fucking believe this. I just told Leah. I, she's like, what's going on? I'm like, it's the third night in a row. D. Welsh drops a freaking massive D. Welsh bomb. The bomb has gone off and people are dead because of D. Welsh. Holy shit. Take that D. Welsh has dropped the bomb. The boom. Yeah. D. Welsh has nuked an entire village of white people. Holy fuck. Boom. We go. Welsh has dropped the boom. I don't believe this. Anyway, um, I have to press on through this review, despite the fact that I'm blown away by what's going on here. Uh, Serena Deeb ended up reaching for powder. We thought she was reaching for tax in this match, and even JR said that too. I thought it was nice, and it was a nice touch, this powder to the face. Oh, they really should have used, like, you know, some kind of powder. Who knows what's in that? That could be some kind of sulfur, salt mix powder usually. I don't know, but it's obvious, and there's nothing the referee can do about it. As Serena Deeb just clubs the blinded Sheeta with the kendo stick across the back. Let's hear what the call actually was. Let's hear what the call actually was. I think it's some tax. This is crazy. Some sort of powder. Oh! Right in the eyes. The powder is legal in this match. And so are anything else. Oh, then the kendo stick. Look at and this. There's, Sheeta blinded. There's no defense here, Excalibur. None. In this fifth match in this series, it has finally come to this. Both women looking to end this rivalry. Decide well, I guess I got a different method of calling things. <laughs> you hear mine, it's like ridiculous. Um, three nights in a row of the JCS Army going ballistic. D. Welsh. Bomb. He is set to become the JCS Digital Champion for Wednesday, April 27th, 2022. Uh. Um, 
So, you know, it was not it was a good match. But you know what I liked tonight was there was enough little variety of enough little good things that, I mean, this blows what I see on Raw away. You know what I mean? Good promo here from MJF. I loved it. Did you? Let's hear it. If it plays. Let's hope it plays. Is it going to play? Maybe not. I don't think it's going to play. <laughs> Come on! God damn it. And it's a damn there we go. God, sweetheart, I am... Here it is. Over Hikaru Shida here tonight in this Philly street fight. Man, Serena Deeb looked like a fucking goblin. She took a shiner off the left side of the eye. We didn't talk about that either. Serena Deeb got blasted somehow. At some point, she got hit for fucking fucking shoot right Gone. to the face. Thunder Rosa and she took a blast to the face. Serena Deeb scores the win, a decisive win over Hikaru Shida here tonight. Serena Deeb looked like one of those fucking goblins, elves from like the movie Legend, you know, with Tom Cruise or whatever that was. Look at this shit. Bro, look at her fucking, look at that bump under her right eye. Look at that fucking bump. Can you see it? Fucking massive. It's hard to see on the screen, but this is fucking. Dude, this is a, she got a golf ball under her eye, bro. A golf ball. That that was rough. And she looks like a fucking demon fucking goblin. But that's my type of woman, though. I like that fucking Celtic goblin look, you know? Oh, God, I could just see her nibbling my... Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But uh, hot nonetheless. Night in this Philly street fight. And now let's hear from MJF. Yeah, you're going to need a nice pack, DB. You're going to need a nice ice pack. DB. She's like, I'm going to stand there. MJF and Sean Spears. Uh -huh. MJF, you seem shockingly calm considering we just witnessed Wardlow defeat Lance Archer. Well, that's because, Lindsay, I got a plan. It, it's Lexi. <laughs> oh, my God, it's Lexi. I had no idea. Oh, my God, sweetheart, I am so sorry. Okay. Get out of my frame! <laughs> <laughs> Can you hand me the phone, please? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Defeat Lance Archer. Well, that's because, Lindsay, I got a plan. It, it's Lexi. Oh my God, it's Lexi. I had no idea. Oh my God, sweetheart, I am so sorry. Okay. Get out of my frame! <laughs> Dude, I love how Sean Spears, as she, as she like did this and then backed up, Sean Spears grabbed the mic from her and was like, <laughs> he took it from her. Dude, that was one of the best things of the night. And it was like eight, what is this, like 28 seconds? 28 seconds, and this is some of the best stuff of the entire night, bro. This was fucking hilarious to me. I thought it was hilarious. Can you hand me the phone? And then MJF yeah. makes a phone call to the local the lesbian. The calm oh. is because I got a plan. And it's a damn good one. Look at Sean Spears. Looks like a, such a douche. I love it. Hey, big man. Quick question. <laughs> How would you feel about making six figures for Ooh. one match? All right. Wardlow. Next week. You're going to be going up against a man who is smarter than you, who is stronger than you, mm. and who is taller than you. And you can't teach that. So I love that whole setup. The only thing is, is he going to pay him six figures if he loses? Because that doesn't seem right. But if he said, you want to make six figures, all you got to do is win. So we'll see what happens. Big cast coming in. I forget what is it's um what's his new name? It's been his new name for two years almost now. Um, I don't even remember. What's his real name now? I forget what the hell it is. God damn it. I do this with him and Adam Shear all the time. Oh yeah, Morrissey. There you go. W Morrissey. Just just be Morrissey. I know that there's a Morrissey, so that's weird, but you know what I mean? Big Morrissey? Why not be Big Morrissey? Or Moron Morrissey? It could be that too. I don't know. But anyway, good stuff from MJF and him there, man. That is exciting stuff. I'm excited by it, bro. I can't wait to see him, man. I hope he doesn't go mental and kill people in the locker room. But if he can, you know, keep stay on his meds, then he could be a great competitor in AEW. And God knows we'd all love to see that, wouldn't we? But what we really need is we need a little Enzo Amore. We need Enzo to show up and tell everybody about how Joey Janela is a back down Janela. 
Why isn't Enzo in AEW? As a singles guy on the mic, he's so great. Why isn't he in AEW? I don't. Does anybody remember or know why that is? Are they afraid that like the? I mean, what's going on with that? He seems like he's on his YouTube channel with almost no views, fucking around with nothing, and once in a while shows up at an indie thing. What is going on with him? Why? Why is why is Morrissey in TNA or Impact? And they tagged a few times recently, not that long ago, and they were in Ring of Honor. Where? What's going on? Why isn't he in AEW by now with the mic skills he has? Why isn't he doing something? I don't know. That's I've had this question. I don't know the answer to. S- oh my God! It's a bomb! It's a bomb! S- nice. Super <laughs> chat. It's not a bomb Gordon. this time. It's two dollars from Mister Pico Boulevard. Thank you, sir. Oh yeah. My money on Wardlow losing to Singer of the Smiths. Oh man, yeah. See the Smiths, Morrissey. So that's why you can't. I guess you can't call him Morrissey. He's got to be W Morrissey. But that sucks. That sucks, right? So, I mean, why not make it? How about Mr. Morrissey? Why not that? I know that sounds weird, but why not Mr. Morrissey? You don't want to mess around with Mr. Morrissey. Like that's I mean that's better than W Morrissey. Dude, W Morrissey. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? We plan the spot. Oh my god. I want you to jam it in. That's it. That's it. We're doing shots. We're doing shots. We're doing shots. Audio jungle. I heard my name Welsh. I'm dead. I'm dead. He's dead. Joe's dead. There's no Joe here anymore. Drew Bar. Drew Bar. 100. Drops 100. And calls out D. Welsh's dick. He calls out D. Welsh's dick, everyone. We're trying to do an AEW review. And people want to get funny. People want to get funky. People want to get weird. I told Leah that people dropped a ton of money, and I told Leah that she needs to get wet. Yeah, she said she's getting wet. Wow. All right, so I, uh... This is wild. Um, this is wild. Wild stuff. D. Welsh is probably gonna br- bring home the two hundred dollars with the two hundred dollars. Probably gonna bring home the JCS Digital Championship. Thank you to um, Drew Bar for that hundred dollars. Drew Bar just saying hi to Welsh. I know he's teasing Welsh, man. You guys are messed up, bro. This is like the show going on while the show's going on. I, I I can't even fathom what's going on right now. We are one hour and twenty. We are one hour and twenty five minutes into AEW. We're almost towards the end of AEW. Getting back to where we started the show, talking about Sammy Guevara. I I I a hundred percent believe Sammy Guevara has a concussion. Like I really do think Sammy has a concussion, and or had a concussion, and that was the biggest problem. 
We'll we'll see what's going on. Um, but we'll find out. Let's see here. Um, let me just uh, tweet out that we're we're live on my other spot again. Um, we'll get there. But now we're at the point where Ray Phoenix makes his uh, return. I thought it was a nice little segment. Um, I, I thought it was a good way, kind of to. It was an all right way to bring Ray Phoenix back. Darby Allen cuts probably his one of his better, like speaking parts. I wouldn't say it's a promo, but one of Darby Allen's better speaking parts I've ever heard here. Um, he stood up pretty well with Swerve Scott here. I thought this was nice. It was okay. Kind of like a hey man, this is my show. No, it's my show. No, it's been my show though. So we'll see what happens. I know some people be like, oh, it's a little schoolyard, you know, whatever. I thought it was good, though. I thought it was good. And then we get a big match that this is the match I paid the least attention to. And I'll go, I'll look to you guys in the chat to tell me what you maybe thought of it. Because I actually, I gotta be honest, this is the one I missed. I had to miss something tonight because of my schedule. And this was the match that I, I, I chose to skip. So I don't know what happened in this match at all. Uh, but we'll talk about it in a second. Or maybe I'll watch it with you guys right now. Um, but we'll skip that and we'll come back to it later. Because I want to get to what I did see, which is, of course, the main event where I believe Sammy Guevara got injured. And this guy busted his ass through some kind of head injury. Scorpio Sky should have caught him. He, I believe he fucked up. And Sammy Guevara could have been really paralyzed or something. Luckily, he landed on his back and, I believe, concussed himself. So that is... Oh, my God! This, this is crazy! In the spot oh my day. god! Oh I my god! The Soundwave 92 is knocking D. Welsh out of the championship picture! From out of nowhere! From the heavens! My god! $201! Good god, no! This is incredible! Jungle. You called me out when I got work tomorrow? I am taking this belt Dwelsh. By the way, you think Big Cass will bring Enzo into it with him for his match with Wardlow? Would love Enzo to have a promo with MJF. Yeah man, see that's what I'm saying, imagine that. Imagine Enzo with a promo against MJF at some point. Oh, Soundwave. I hope that's what happens, that's exactly what we just talked about and I hope it happens. I really do hope it happens, man. Holy shit, dude. This is incredibly insane, man. The train is coming. There's a donation train coming. There's a donation train coming, bro. There's a donation train coming. And our friend, the man himself, Soundwave92, drops $201. He drops a nuclear bomb. He's bombing a school. <laughs> oh my god. Soundwave 90. Oh my god. $201 nuclear freaking bomb. I can't even. I can't even believe I'm doing this right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. The big bomb has hit. Oh my god. Whew. Wow. <laughs> what was that? The 
the Walmart Power Man 5000 right there. Unbelievable, man. Holy shit. Soundwave 92 could be taking home that digital JCS championship after an insane fucking donation bomb. This is crazy. Crazy. And we are on the last match of the night, and I can't believe what's going on, bro. Oh, my God. And, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to pour ourselves the first shot heard around the world. This one's for D. Welsh. Oh, my God. This one's for Soundwave 92. This one is for Drew Bar 100. <coughs> and this one is for Tim Drake and Shell. We'll combine them into one. Finish it. Finish it. <laughs> Let's go, bro. And that's just the beginning of the shots that I owe you guys at this point. Oh, my God, bro. This is fucking crazy, bro. This is what my voice did earlier when I screamed during the donation. Listen to this. What? Sammy Guevara almost died tonight, bro. This is crazy. Oh, man, I got to catch my breath. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to go back to the rest of the stream. We got one more match to really get into. Sammy Guevara, he gonna die Cause Scorpio Sky couldn't catch him tonight Sammy Guevara, he gonna die Cause Scorpio Sky couldn't catch him tonight Sammy Guevara, he gonna die Cause Scorpio Sky couldn't catch him tonight Sammy Guevara, he gonna die Cause Scorpio Sky couldn't catch him tonight What's up with that? You gotta put all your hands You gotta accept the man You gotta stop him from landing wrong But you didn't, he broke his neck He broke his fucking heck The fuck is going on? He got car wrecked Yeah, you watched it happen Then you won the belt Should be upset at that But you fucked up Yeah, you're gonna be on Botch Club tomorrow On Instagram Looking like a fucking sad man What are you doing not catching the man? You gotta do better than that man Sammy Guevara gonna end up dead Cause Scorpio Sky couldn't catch him his head He fucked up bad and Sammy almost ended up dead What you gonna do it should have been said uh, Something wrong man you fucked up bad This guy almost was a kid of a no dad Something's wrong Scorpio Sky You fucked up tonight then you won the belt that ain't right uh. Yo Sammy Guevara you gonna die Cause Scorpio Sky couldn't catch you tonight Sammy Guevara, you gonna die Cause Scorpio Sky fucking drop you tonight Sammy Guevara, he gonna die Cause Scorpio Sky couldn't catch me tonight What the fuck is up, that's basic 101 While you having fun, you gotta catch someone You gotta put out your arms Except the bitch before he falls down Fucking cuts his wrist His girl couldn't even stall for him He's sitting there all concussed, looking slong and slim Look at his fucking goddamn Hispanic chin Yeah, I want that tongue to go slowly in my rectum Yeah, I'm admit that I'm gay If you got a problem with that, you can step up to my way I'll punch you in the face and leave you fucked up I'll mace you in the eye, then break your fucking claw I'll break your fucking jaw, a fucking fist I'm gonna grab a razor blade and I'll slit your wrist Sammy Guevara, he gonna die Cause Scorpio Sky couldn't catch him tonight Sammy Guevara, he gonna die Cause Scorpio Sky couldn't catch him tonight Sammy Guevara, 
He just took flight in the night. It was a fright. He landed on his fucking neck tonight. Next time, catch him, Scorpio. What are you doing? Catch him next time. Sammy Guevara almost died tonight. Sammy Guevara fucking almost died tonight. Sammy Guevara, he gonna die cause Scorpio Sky couldn't catch him tonight. Sammy Guevara, he almost died cause Scorpio Sky couldn't catch him tonight. Sammy Guevara, he almost died cause Scorpio Sky couldn't catch him tonight. Sammy Guevara, he almost died cause Scorpio Sky couldn't catch him tonight. by condoms all right anyway back to the show um that was fun but yeah why couldn't sammy guevara you know catch this fucking man catch this fucking man already bro catch this fucking guy dude i got no voice i got no voice and i powered through that somehow i powered through that i don't know all right um so the main event it is what it is and when In the spot all day I want you to jam it in Oh, it's in your bunghole Oh, it's in your bunghole I want it jammed in my bunghole Welsh, what's up, lol? The ghost from the freaking coast comes in, and he comes in big. I can't believe it. I will do anything for your cock, ghost from the coast. Anything for your cock whatsoever. Ah! carve myself for you oh my god the you know the ghost from the coast just saying what's up to welsh yo welsh what's up lol jesus these guys are fucking with each other at this point in the donations this is what is going on how do they even have this capital how do they have this money what is what is happening right now what in the world is going on Oh my God. I just don't know what's going on. Oh my God. The ghost from the coast just saying hi to Soundwave 92, just saying hi to Welsh, rather. Ghost from the coast saying hi to Welsh. Oh. I'm bleeding everywhere. Oh my god, I'm bleeding. I'm busted wide open. Oh my god. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. What up, Terry and Gordon? How you doing, man? What up, Turpa? What up, Army Ann? Well, you know, I do owe the IRS like sixty thousand dollars, so at least some of this will will go to them, so no doubt about it. John makes the IRS joke, no doubt. Make sure 30% goes to the IRS. I pay the IRS $1,000 every month. And I'm actually going to start paying them more. So we'll use some of this for this, man. I didn't get no tax refund. I owe the IRS $70,000, bro. This is why. <laughs> so uh, that is crazy, man. I don't know what's going on, bro. Who was it the other day that wrote IRS and they wrote the big eyeballs in the chat? That was fucking hilarious, by the way. I don't remember who did that, but my God, bro. Oh, so Sammy Guevara is, look at that, the Spanish God. If you guys want to hear that song I just did, I will put the audio up on Patreon in a little while for you guys on Patreon. If you have not... 
Oh my god! We plan the spot all day. Oh my god, he's going back now, Adam! This is unbelievable! Oh my god, dude, what the fuck is going on, dude? I can't believe this is happening! What is going on? There is no way in hell this is real life! There's no way this is real life! Ghost. I was calling her sorry ass out, bitch. Oh my god. This is the most insane thing that I've ever seen. This has been three days of this. Three days of this. D. Wells dropping 100 more dollars. The Kenny Omega bomb. What the fuck is going on? I can't even talk. I can't even talk. I can't even do my own job. On the spot all day. It's my bunghole again. I want you to jam me. Oh my god! Nothing's more fun than an orgy the sound wave 92. Oh my god. Did you say an orgy? Did you say an orgy? True Bar 100, last night's champion, chiming in with $100. Did somebody win the lottery and I don't know about this? What is going on? Drew Bar 100 drops another 100. Oh my God. This is absolutely the most insane, insane thing I've ever seen. Does it feel to donate like you do when you drop a thousand dollars and I buy a whore for you? I wanna eat your asshole. All right, um, wow, all right. This is uh, wild, wild and crazy stuff. Oh my god. Oh man. And listen, all the other people, if you guys want to donate, feel free to do it. You don't have to drop hundies. You can drop fives and tens. I know there's some people out there like, well, fuck this. Not that anybody needs to drop anything at this point. This is unfucking fathomable. I mean, what are we going to do on Friday night, you know, if this is the case all week? It's almost like somebody won a million dollars in the community and they didn't tell anybody about it yet. But they, So they went, hey, you, here's five grand. Here's five grand. We're all going to spend it on Joe tonight because I won a million dollars and I'm not telling anybody and it will be crazy. Like, what is going on? What is happening? I mean, dude, yes, like on Monday I had like $200 in my bank account. I was almost negative. And now this is, like, unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Just let them hijack the show. Fuck it, says Dragon. Yeah, fuck it, dude. At this point, bring it on. You missed it. You missed me get... You missed it, Moss Blaze. What up, Moss Blaze? Hey, man, cheers. We're having a fucking fun time now. I mean, I don't know. I reviewed the whole show. I've gone through it all. And we started the show with the main event, so... Sammy Guevara getting crazy and then concusses himself. Oh, my God, bro. Jesus. Even Tay Conti's face said the whole thing like, oh, my God. And then Sammy just goes, oh, shit. Like, he knew that he fucked something up. Like, he was hurt, bro. And he carried through that match to make sure to put over Scorpio Sky. That is wild. 
90s car guy, you the guy who hit me up about the t-shirts? I saw your tweet. I'll get to it later, man. I'll look at it later. I'll see what you're saying. Um, I've sold a lot. How many t-shirts did we sell last year? I probably only, I didn't sell a lot last year. I sold probably like, like I don't know, like 200. No, I didn't. I didn't sell that many. I sold like a, I sold like 100. I don't sell a lot of t-shirts, but, you know. I sold 100 last year. I sold 200 the year before. And uh, the year before that, I sold 80. And the year before that, I sold 60. And the year before that, I sold 30. And the year before that, I sold five. So those are my numbers. They're not big. But then again, my shirts kind of suck. So, you know, some of them are all right, but most of them are suck. But it's just about having fun and buying something that I made and it was goofy. Um, give the Add up the totals and give the digital championship to the top. I mean, sal uh, sal Salami? Salami Attack? I mean, that's a hot name right there. Man, cheers, man, for all these donations, guys. This is fucking crazy. Can we go down the list? I don't know who the most is, but I can look at the Streamlabs roster. Hold on. I can tell you one thing right now by looking at the Streamlabs uh, roster. Um, Drew, ba Drew Bar is in the lead. That's, that's the man who's donated the most. He won last night, though. That's why. Drew Bar won last night. Look. Drew Bar, number one, over $1,000. And that's not counting Super Chats. That doesn't count Super Chats, and he was dropping Super Chats on the first night a couple nights ago. He was dropping Super Chats. So without a doubt, Drew Bar is in the lead. D. Welsh is number two. Soundwave92 is number three. Tim Drake is number four. The Ghost from the Coast is number five. And uh, he's dropped a couple super chats as well that aren't registered there. Shell's in sixth place. You know when Shell is in sixth place that you got something crazy going on. This is unbelievable. I have never seen something like this. I mean, we've seen a lot of amazing things like the night that $2,000 was dropped to ban Bullfrog. Do you guys remember the night Bullfrog was banned? For $2,400 was dropped. Monetize this episode 100. $3,000 was dropped. Um, a few months back when everybody was donating in Sith Negan and everybody, and it was $6,000 on a night. Uh, I think. I think that was sometime in the past couple of years. But I've never seen three nights in a row. I mean, this is crazy of this type of support on generic nights. This is some kind of record, man. This is some kind of record, bro. This is unbelievable. Wow, man. Yeah, I'm wa I watched it again to see, man, and Sammy Guevara got jacked up. They tried to buy as much time for Sammy Guevara as they could, and it was amazing. Oh, my God, bro. I just can't believe it. And, uh, yeah, it was it was tough to watch. And Sammy Guevara did the Stone Cold roll-up like Owen, Owen Hart did. He did on Owen Hart. And he pushed the ladder over desperately to try to get some more time. And then the, the cutter off the top of the ladder later after, to do that afterwards was nuts. And then Scorpio Sky goes under the ring and pulls out a barbed wire ladder, which that was crazy. And I'm thinking, like, there's no way they're even going to get to this. I don't think Sammy Guevara can function. So for whatever reason of whatever they did, they were able to get through this match and then make it a good match. I have to go back and watch this match again later just to watch it again because it's unreal. It was it was wonderful. And yeah, again, like I said, Shell was here last night. She popped in, man. So the trolls got mad, bro. They were, they were mad she was here. I talked to Sith uh, the other day. So he's around. Yeah, he's around. I, I, everybody always does that thing where they're like, well, we're, it's like, what the fuck, bro? Nah, bro, Sith is around. He just doesn't chat all the time. 
I just talked to him the other day. He's he's still mods. He's still mods, even though he doesn't say anything. I believe. I uh, anyway. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm a little rocked right now. Let me have some more water. Mm. <laughs> the IRS gonna seize the digital championship. That's hilarious. No, they're just gonna probably up my monthly payments. They're gonna be like, "Yo, nice money." So you can do about uh, seventeen hundred a month, huh? How about that. How do you guys like my shot glass? It says Queen. I forget who gave this to Leah, but let's drop. Let, let's drop another one, bro. Let's drop another one, bro. I sipped that like tea, dude. Oh. So what would I give? I don't know what I would give. Um, A W tonight. Because it was, it, I really liked it. I want to give it a seven point eight. You know what I mean? I feel like it shouldn't be an eight, but I don't think it was a seven. So maybe I'll just give it a seven point five. I thought the show probably. I'd probably go with a seven point five tonight. I was entertained though. And that's the most important thing, is that tonight I believe that I was entertained. And I, uh, you know, Joe Abdullah the Butcher Cronin. Yeah, did you, didn't, were you here when I Abdullah the Butchered myself earlier? Oh, man, I'm out of breath. I could well, barely, give it a I have, like, breathing problems because I'm, like, so fucking hyped up. Soundwave 92 with the 201 takes the lead, man, no doubt about it. Where's the where does where do I cut myself? Let's find it. Oh yeah, here's we go we go Abdullah the butcher here. Oh no, that's the wrong thing. No, that's the wrong thing. No, that's the wrong thing. We go Abdullah the butcher. Let's watch me go Abdullah the butcher here. Oh, oh no, Abdullah oh, the Butcher. Wedge. What's up? Hello. Oh no. The ghost from the freaking coast comes in and he comes in big. <laughs> there you go. There's your, there's your Abdullah the Butcher right there. Oh man. So Scorpio Sky becomes the new TNT champion. And it was fun, man. Get donated. <laughs> Jag DePanzer. Man, Jag DePanzer has some of the funniest lines. Get donated. Get donated. Get scared. Get donated. You know, Gargots is probably DMing me right now. Like, you hey, please, the rent. Please. George Joe's forehead will end up looking like uh, Carlos Colon's. By the way. By the way. That's what it sounds like when you eat one chip using the uh, devil voice sound effect. Isn't that amazing? Sammy Samurai King, what's up, man? The man who makes $160,000 a year but doesn't donate a dime to the show. Sammy Samurai. You cheap piece of shit. No, I'm just <laughs> I'm kidding, man. I love you, dude. It's, I'm just joking. I think you're lying, though. But I love you. I love you no matter what, okay? You're based as fuck, Joe. I'm fucking high as fuck. Should I go drink a marijuana like drink? You know, I have one of those marijuana drinks. It says it's expired now, though. And then Sammy Guevara, after all this shit gets done to him, this motherfucker falls off the ladder and lands in fucking barbed wire. Do you think Lambert shook his head when Sammy hit because he was mad at the botch or at the attempted spot? It was a weird reaction. I didn't see that. QDT number one fan. That's a I did not see that. Let me go back and watch that. That is really cool. I mean, he probably shook his head because he was like, oh, my God, bro, he's fu this is fucked. I'm sure he shook his head just because of that, but let me go back and look at it. I didn't notice that. I like how Scorpio Sky mocked him, though. He was like, oh, you did that, huh? You're fucking dead now. All right, let's watch it. I'm watching it right now. Let's see what, let's see what Dan Lambert does. Okay. Boom. Oh, my God, yeah. He probably shook his head because, yeah, I see he walked away like, oh, my God, bro. He probably couldn't look because he was like, oh, my God. 
I mean, Dan Lambert's a wrestling fan, man. He knows when, you know, he's like, I guarantee Lambert there is like, oh, shit, like, he's fucked up. He's probably yelled some things. He might even have yelled like he might be fucked and hurt. He might have yelled something like to be like, or he might have yelled at the referee to get in the ring and check. If the referee, because the referee didn't come in right away. And I remember thinking that. I'm like, how is the referee not coming right in the ring right now? And now the other referee is telling Scorpio, hey, man, he might be really fucking hurt, dude, just letting you know. But the referee played it off like he was checking on Scorpio, like, are you okay? Like, But he's really telling him, like, oh, you know, hey, uh, he might be really hurt. The other the other guy's checking on him. Make sure you get the okay. And then Sammy was able to uh, roll over and turn the ladder over, which was terribly done, but it had to be done. But again, Tay Conti, ideally, one of the referees should have gone out and said to Tay Conti, hey, you need to go interfere to buy him a few minutes so he can figure out what's wrong. Like, go buy him some a few minutes. And Tay Conti didn't do that. Now, she eventually does do that, but, but somebody should have told her, like, right away, like, hey, you're going to have to jump in the ring and, like, dump, you know, hit him in the balls or something like that, you know? And um, that's what I would have done or what I would have been... I, I like immediately if I'm in the wrestle in the ring and I see that Sammy Guevara can move so he's not paralyzed he can move uh, I'm like all right like get her in here to hit me in the balls or like I'm hitting or if I was even take Conti I probably would have just done it that way Sammy didn't look bad you know and they could have bought some more time and at this point now it's like they come by the time thank God a commercial they went to commercial because when they came back from commercial Sammy started kind of eventually getting out of it right and um whatever though it was it did i mean if they were just selling and he did get the wind knocked out of him but they were selling stuff then that's the most incredible sell thing i've ever seen but yeah i really just believe he was concussed so i think he has a concussion and i think we'll find out that he has a concussion sammy and stay remind tay remind me of the two cringe annoying fucks i don't know who that what cringe annoying fucks there's a lot of them the ghost from the coast. I still can't believe that he doesn't just get an automatic membership. The ghost from the coast. After all the donations. That he just doesn't get a membership automatically. You know what I mean? Like if I could give them out, I would give you one. You know? Trey Walter, what's up, man? If you want to become a member, click the membership button down below. It's like three bucks a month and it helps out big time if a lot of you guys do it. So thank you for that. But feel kind of weird bringing that up after hundreds of dollars coming in tonight. So not really a big deal. But... You know, still got to plug, still got to plug it. Uh, but this is incredible support tonight, um, insane support. You know, what's funny is I don't know why that everybody's like Mr. Free Speech like blocked me or whatever on Elon Musk. They're like Mr. Free Speech blocked me. It's like yeah, you still have free speech, but he just blocked you. What are you gonna do, Michael Rappaport? That guy sucks. That guy purposely tries to get blocked. You know. You know what no one's talking about is this. Bill Gates is buying up the majority of American farmland. BlackRock is buying the majority of single-family houses. But I'm supposed to believe the biggest threat is Elon buying Twitter. And that's really weird what BlackRock is doing. They're outbidding people. So if you go to buy a house and it's $300,000, suddenly BlackRock like buys it for like 480000 weird dude something weird is going on everywhere it's very strange um but yeah i like the fireball let's go to the poll and see how the poll is doing the poll has been cooking for a long time the poll is at 182 votes if you have not voted yet please feel free to do so this thing is fucking close look at this poll we're talking about sammy and uh scorpio sammy and scorpio sky is taking it home 32%. Second place is a tie with Wardlow and MJF segment and the fireball situation. And I think the fireball includes everything that happened with Eddie Kingston and Jericho. Everything that happened tonight with them plus the fireball is really what's included. And so far, we have a two second place tie. And even the FTR singles match that opened the night that I already gave you my feelings on it earlier. If you missed it, go back to the beginning of this video and watch it. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, man. We need some more subscribers. 
be here every single day. I'm live all the time, every day, videos all the time. We're cooking, we're kicking ass. I think the donation train finally stopped, by the way. I think I was interrupted with a $100 bomb every fucking five minutes earlier. Now it's fi the train is finally coming to the station. Um, and it's looking like, because of that, that tonight, Soundwave 92 might take home that JCS Digital Championship. Um, and we're really close here. Well, look at that. Wardlow and MJF is now nudging it out for second place. But even FTR singles match, like I said, 21%. This is a very tight pull, which is really cool to see. Because that's, that's how many segments were in the running for decent tonight. So you got to give it to them. You know what I mean? So, I mean, like I said, that, that, this poll tells you that tonight's show was good. If people are this divided, normally it's one or two things clearly. You know what I mean? The fact that it's this divided is amazing. So this is really encouraging and really cool to see that the poll is this split. And people are still voting now. So... We know there's a few people that still haven't voted. So, man, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that to have it. We plan the spot all day. Oh, I want you oh to my God. It oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god! True bar! Sorry, sound wave. Oh my god, sorry, sound wave! He knocks Soundwave off! Oh my god! Drew Bar! Two hundred and two dollars! He knocks off Soundwave 92 by dropping a fucking bomb. It could be for two nights in a row, another night in a row, that Drew Bar becomes the JCS Digital Champion again. What is going on, gods of hell? Oh, my God. Drew Bar comes in and rapes, just takes the dream away. The dream has absolutely been taken away. Oh, my God. Shit of spikes, says Mr. Pico. <laughs> this is like that time when I was 22 years old and I donated to this band. And I gave them $500 so they could buy their they could buy a touring van. And they gave me free shows for, like, ever. It was crazy. And then I had negative credit. And my credit was shit. Oh, my God, bro. Fuck the heat. It's getting warm outside. That's true. The dream is dead for Soundwave. Oh, my God, Soundwave. Soundwave92, man, I just want to acknowledge him that he is so cool, bro. I'm sorry, Soundwave, that you lost the dream tonight. It looks like the Drew Bar. But we love you. I love you. It's all good, bro. It's all good. We love Soundwave92. But Drew Bar has taken... The dream away, essentially, incredibly, with the $202. Wow. Joe bleeds like Tommy Rich. Gurgle, gurgle. You want to play with Ryback? You want to play with Ryback? 
I wish I had my voice. I would probably remember Ryback. Let's let's play that a little clip of that. That stop it. I'm going to fuck you. Ah, he does. You, you you. I didn't even tell you that. I didn't even say that to you. You said. Hey, where's Squid Man, Ben? I haven't seen Squid Man in forever. Have any of you guys seen Squid Man in the chat? That's the guy that used to watch my old channel back in 2006. Has Squid Man been around? Has anybody seen him? I just thought of him randomly seeing him in an old chat, an old show. I haven't seen Squid Man in a while. Anybody seen Squid Man? I saw P.S. Carnivore the other day in the comments. I was like, damn, man, P.S. Carnivore is still, oh, like, he's another old school, old school OG, you know? You guys remember that? P.S. Carnivore watches all the time still, but where's Squip Man? Squip Man usually shows up for like monetize this and stuff. <laughs> Should I bring that Ryback donation back? That is pretty funny, dude. It's pretty funny. Reduce the risk. Okay, all right. I'm going to calm down. I got to calm down. Okay, the alcohol is hitting me, guys. I got to be honest. The alcohol is hitting me. Ryback, Joe Cronin, Jesse Ventura, and Bret Hart would be a great show. I've done something like that. Remember when I did the Wrestlers Roundtable? I might have to. I think I might bring back the Wrestlers Roundtable. People really liked that. So I, I'm thinking about bringing back, or it was called Wrestlers on Wrestlers. That's what it was called. Wrestlers on Wrestlers. Do you guys remember that? Should I bring that back? Remember this? Oh, yeah. Welcome to another episode of Wrestlers on Wrestlers. And I am your host this time, the Macho Man. It's up on Randy Patreon. Savage. Yeah. And we're here with Jake the Snake Roberts. Yeah. You remember Jake, this? how are you doing? It's great to be here. Well, I know it would be. Thank God I don't travel with Damien anymore, or I would have damn, I've been so horny, I would have fucked him. <laughs> I'd like to also welcome uh, my other guest at this time, Bert Man Hart, yeah. Well, you know, I'm happy to be here, and quite frankly, it's good to see Jake. It's great to see you from beyond the grave, and I'm happy that uh, we can do this podcast again. It's been a while, and quite frankly, it's been too long, but that's... You know, you Americans always seem to typically forget about things. But, uh, you know, in Canada, we kind of stick to a schedule a little bit more. Yeah, well, uh, one more comment like that, and I'm going to have to snap your neck. <laughs> like an asshole. Mm, dig it. Yeah, so Jake, tell me about 1991. <laughs> You're in the back of a Cadillac. Vince McMahon just paid you. And you kind of, uh, you kind of lost your mind in front of everybody in the locker room, in the parking lot. Listen, it wasn't my fault because I told Vince McMahon, I said, don't you ever pay me before seven o'clock. Because if you pay me mm -hmm. and I've been fiending, I will go out to score. And I don't mean pussy. I mean drugs. And I told Vince this several times and I think he I think he knew it, but he wanted to see what would happen. But he knew what would happen. Hold on a minute, I'm getting a call. God damn it, I I told you not to fucking call me, you fucking asshole prick. I'm sorry, where was I? I was saying uh Yeah, so Vince knew this and he thought it'd be funny. He thought it'd be funny to pay a, a drug addicted Jake the Snake Roberts at 10 a.m. That's fucking hilarious. Because I was up all night fucking a whore and getting drunk. And I'm fucked up out of my mind. And I, I'm beginning to get a hangover. But I, I don't know if it's 10 o'clock a.m., p.m., or 2 in the morning. And Vince thinks it's funny to hand a guy like in my stage $2,000. And I took the $2,000. I bought a whore and an eight ball. 
and I fucked this girl. First of all, she told me that she liked being fucked in the mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, as the story goes, she didn't get fucked in the mouth. She got fucked in her ass. Oh, and I my God. her asshole open. And she was screaming and yelling because she specifically, apparently, I don't remember... And I don't condone this, obviously. I was a piece of shit. <laughs> but she specifically said, apparently, no ass play. Now, I didn't know. I had no idea <laughs> what the fuck I was doing. And I wouldn't even know about this if it wasn't for the honky-tonk man and Greg the Hammer Valentine, who were watching in a comatose state. In a car next to us, it looked like the scene in Back to the Future in the first movie. <laughs> what the fuck? Except no McFly showed up to help. Wait a minute, are you saying, Jake, are you trying to say that you raped somebody? <laughs> no. No. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. I'm saying, <laughs> well, I'm just saying that I picked the wrong hole. Oh. Jake, I gotta be honest. It sounds like you're talking about you raped somebody. <laughs> what kind of a piece of shit do you think I am? I'm just saying that it sounded like that's what you said. You stuck it in a hole, an unwilling hole of a participant. You know, where I'm from up in Canada, a group of guys would beat the shit out of you for that. Quite honestly, Jake, I mean, you know, based on your family history, it's not that out of the realm. What the <laughs> hell does that mean? Listen, I think you guys need to tone it down just a little bit. Listen, we're going to take a break from our sponsors. Yeah, let's go to a quick commercial break. Dig it. Those commercials. Hey, wrestling fans, it's me, JD from New York here. And I'm here to bring you an all new product. The best product you've ever heard of in your life. <laughs> I'm from New York. Which means I'm a cock-sucking, cunt-bag, fuck-starting fuckhead. <laughs> and if I got a deal for you right now, Blue Chew is one of the best gums to make you come. If you know what I mean. Skittles, get out of the bathtub, you retard. <laughs> Fucking Skittles, I'm gonna rape you again. I'm gonna rape you again, Skittles, you fucking retard. <laughs> Get Blue Chew. Just use coupon code JD'sAFuckingAsshole.com. <laughs> I'll see you guys later for more Off the Cock. Oh, man. Off the Cock. What is this music? Oh, yeah, we're back here. Yeah, things got a little weird during the break, let me tell you. I got to apologize, Jake the Snake Roberts. He had to step outside for a minute. He was having flashbacks to beating a child, <laughs> allegedly. Um, but that being said, Brett, uh, Brett the Hitman Hart. Yeah. Brett, why don't you tell us about those sunny days, if you know what I mean? We know it's really quite a touchy subject. It always has been because, you know, we're at the point in life where if really forgiven Sean for a lot of things. There's a lot of things I have not forgiven him for in many ways, or, or basically that aren't, it's not that I haven't not forgiven him. It's just there are things that you are not forgivable, you know, forgive and forget. I don't forget a thing. Canadians don't forget a damn thing. It seems like sometimes Americans, they've got a short term memory. You could stab a guy's sister the next day. Mm -hmm. As long as he rubs your back, he'll sell you a car or, He'll bring you a birthday cake or some weird shit like that, but that's what Americans do. <laughs> I never what? understood it, but quite honestly, Sunny Day stuff was always bogus. Everybody knew Sunny was a whore. Everybody knew she was a fuck up. And Shawn Michaels was paranoid because I was friendly with her because in Shawn's mind, you can't be friends with a female unless you're making love to him or banging him or fucking him while you're on drugs. You know, I mean, basically the bottom line is back then, who are you going to believe? The guy on drugs who was a complete piece of shit or, uh, you know, Brett the Hitman Hart. I was clean as hell, you know, on top of the game in the WWF at the time. 
But I, I don't hold it against Sean now. Obviously, he's a different guy. We've made up and made through all these things. That, you know, these things get repeated and they get brought up. And then, you know, I'm sure he, if he hears about it, you know, it's like Bret Hart's saying something. But it's quite honestly, it's just the way it is, the way it was, and the way it will always be. <laughs> I see what you did there. That was funny. What do you mean? Oh, my With God. With the way they're the best they're... Never mind. Uh, let's move on to... Uh, let's go... Uh, apparently, uh, Jake is coming back in the studio. Jake... You know what? You know what's really crazy about this whole thing? This is all improvised, right? Like, everything... This whole 10-minute thing is improvised. None of this was thought of beforehand. None of this was written down. All of this is just random banter, me making things up. So when you, I feel like telling you guys that because I feel like it makes it a little more impressive. Like it's kind of funny that I'm sitting there doing three different characters, but all of it is completely made up. The only thing, like, yeah, no, that's it. There was, there's not one thing planned. So like, it, I mean, you can tell because for a minute there, Brett was like saying nothing, and it was like, where are you going with this? And then luckily I hit that best there is thing by accident, and then it was kind of funny. And then I I don't know, but it's just funny that I made this up. Like what what would happen if I wrote something? You know what I mean? Like probably actually I wouldn't do it because I hate reading scripts. So that's probably why I you know I mean I just make it up. And if it's funny I put it up, and if it wasn't I go oh I'll, I'll try another one. I don't know. So I don't know. I think it's funny that this was all um just kind of made up. And I'm doing three different characters, and it's not edited either. So I'm not, I'm not like editing my voices. I'm just doing it all instantly because I was like, I don't want to edit and have to go back and whatever. So I just change voices every talk to myself, you know. So I don't know. I thought that was pretty funny. I did another one. I didn't see the proof of this. Is I did another one, and I felt the other one wasn't funny, and I didn't do it again. But I need to go back to doing it because I could do a pretty good job at it. But and people kind of liked it, so. I think, but it only got one comment, and that's what made me go, oh, maybe people didn't like it. But I thought it was funny, and I put it up on Patreon. It's up on Patreon. It does have nine likes, but again, you know, it was just off the cuff making stuff up. And, um, but yeah, you know, so I, I recorded a second one, and it wasn't funny. And I just, I was like, all right, I'm not going to put that up. Because it was, it was like kind of funny a little bit, but it wasn't really that good. And this one had funny things. You have a seat right there. So I, that's why Jake, I didn't put the other one up. Go ahead, have a seat there, Jake. Ah! Ah! Oh my God! Ah! Holy shit! Fuck! Fuck my fucking ass! Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! Let me tell you. Ooh! Oh my, Jake, are you all right? Did you just pull your back? Oh God! Oh my God! No, I just came in my pants. I was staring at your secretary for five minutes. <laughs> oh, you got you damn Americans are disgusting, Jake. I don't really think you should be saying that, man. You know HR listens to this broadcast. Are we gonna go to a commercial break? We'll be back with more of wrestlers on wrestlers. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? It looks like Drew Hey, what's Bar. up, everybody? It's your favorite New Yorker and wrestling personality. A lot of people call me a midget. A lot of people say that I'm a fucking tiny fucking asshole who all I do is drink fucking coffee and fondle cats. <laughs> a lot of people say the only pussy I can hold on to is a fur-lined female, scum-sucking, long-nailed, fucking meowing piece of fuck. Mm. But the fact of the matter is, I'm no longer that way anymore since I got step-up shoes. That's right. <laughs> I'm talking about an entire six inches that will make you fucking six inches taller when you wear these shoes. <laughs> step Get them with shoes. my coupon code, Midget Fuck, and use the link down below. Mittens. Oh. Mittens. Get the fuck out of the bathtub, Mittens, you fucking female cunt. You're a piece of shit, Mittens! So, you can download that on Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. 
Download Wrestlers on Wrestlers, Episode 1, and I promise that if you comment on it and and give it a few likes and I see that, I will do a second Wrestlers on Wrestlers. Oh, fuck, I'll do a series. I'll do it every week um, if I have to. Ketracel became a $10 VIP patron. Thank you so much to Ketracel. I rate uh, Infernap became a $2 patron. Uh, Derek Coates became a $2 patron. Thank you so much. Um, for being a patron. And uh, Biska became a $5 patron as well. Those are the new patrons so far this week. Thank you all uh, for jumping on there and, and being there. You beasts. Ryback, what's up, Ryback? And the fuck over. Um, um, but no, he still didn't want to do that. Oh, no. Yeah, because <laughs> nothing you were saying was logical. Chad. Party. Oh, my God, I'm crying Spaz right Phoenix. JD would be Ryback's prison wife. <laughs> oh my god. Get down. Shut up. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing to me, bro? Shut the fuck up. Shut your mouth. What's your name? <laughs> Wait, tell me what's your name. Uh, my name is JD. I'm re- Shut the fuck up. But you told me. <laughs> Shut up. Bend over. I want you to bend the fuck over. <laughs> um, uh, my, my cat's on my lap, though. I don't want to bend over. Shut up and bend over. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god, my ass, my ass, my ass, what are you doing to my ass? Oh, yeah. Oh, shell shock. <laughs> finish it. Oh my god, don't finish it, please don't finish it. I'm gonna finish it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god dude that one kills me bro that one fucking kills me when, dude when he goes to come and he goes look at the fuck dude oh my god i can't deal with it oh my god bro i don't know why it's so funny <laughs> oh my god my aunt my ass my ass what are you doing to my ass oh yeah Oh, shell shock. Finish it. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't finish it. Please don't finish it. I'm going to finish it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Finish it. Oh my god, don't finish it. Please don't finish it. I'm gonna finish it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> gurgle, gurgle. Oh my god, bro. I'm so fucking buzzed up right now off of this fucking shit. I took shots, bro. We made $1,600 tonight. Oh, my God. Look at this. The Drew Bar, baby. Drew Bar 100 is going to become tonight, it looks like, the JCS Digital Champion. After all the bombs that have been dropped, it looks like Drew Bar will stand on top. $202, eclipsing everybody else. But I do want to shout out the list of people who have donated tonight because it's insane. We shout out to uh, Drew Bar, D. Welsh, The Ghost from the Coast, Soundwave92, of course, who could have won, man. He got screwed. I feel bad for Soundwave92. Drew Bar... Mr. Pico Boulevard, D. Welsh Bombs, Colonel Stutters, Alex Oli, Drew Barr. Uh, we, well, sh- I mean, Soundwave, all of the same, cr- same characters, man. It only took a few different people to drop a whole bunch of bombs, you know? I mean, God, you would think that there'd be like 30 people donating three or five bucks, but instead it was like five people donating and three or four of them were donating hundies. It's insane. Uh, Mr. Pico, I do want to shout out the people from last night, too. I mean, to be honest, John Cream, Randy Viper. I mean, Jesus, it's crazy, bro. And Jennifer, thanks for becoming a member. Luis Belmont Show, Mr. Pico, and everybody else. It doesn't give me the list of yesterday, actually, but 
It's pretty crazy, bro. <clears throat> Shell shock. Shock. Finish it. Oh, my God. Don't finish it. Please don't finish it. I'm going to finish it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so, oh my god. I'm gonna oh fucking god, die god, right god. now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. End the fuck over. It's one of my favorite clips. I think uh DeMarco was lo- was uh inside himself at that point. The guy was trying to get into re- we were talking about wrestling news and he was trying to get to the next wrestling story. Jake was. And um I'm like just went into this fucking goofed out thing, man. And uh it was just weird. I was in some other fucking atmosphere that night, you know? I was off my rocker that night. I loved that night, though. That was fun. Remember earlier when my voice cracked? Drew Barr gonna be God, baby. I think just I think because of this, man, I've got a stream tomorrow. I think I've got a stream tomorrow because of this. And I don't know when. I I may I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. But I think I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do a stream tomorrow. And I think uh beat the clock will be beat the clock might be reserved for Friday night. I think, or Saturday night. I don't know yet. I I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I I will definitely stream tomorrow. Possibly I'll have a video or a stream out in the middle of the day tomorrow at some point in the day. And then I will probably be live tomorrow night. I don't know how long. I might not be live for long, but I'll be live. You know what I mean? You know, it's weird because... um, I saw that earlier. This is really bizarre. It's it's weird that Tommy the pedo touches kids would show up in the chat because I got an alert that his video came out today and on his thumbnail, Tommy's thumbnail, it's him doing some kind of podcast with somebody and the thumbnail... I guess he's using a green screen. Somebody showed him how to do that since he's too dumb to figure that out. But uh, he's using a green screen. And behind him is a person who spammed that he's a pedo. (laughs) So this fucking guy's thumbnail is a guy who's trolling him in the background. Tommy's a pedo that touches (laughs) <laughs> the fucking goddamn it! But he can't read, so he doesn't know that that's what his thumbnail is. <laughs> he fucking can't believe this. Oh my god, dude! Somebody sent this to me, and I was fucking dying. I'm like, oh my god, he doesn't know this fucking thumbnail. This fucking guy, this troll person who's always trolling everybody, is in his thumbnail. Oh my god. Uh, thank you to whoever sent me that because I don't sub to him anymore, obviously, because he's a piece of garbage. Um, but yeah, he, you know, thank you. Oh my God. What a terrible person he is. If anybody deserves that, it's him, I guess. Fuck him. I'm going to pretend to talk to you, then pretend, then I'm going to shit on you, then pretend to. Then, I'm gonna, uh, then when you try to do good things for me, I'm going to be a piece of shit to you. Fucking douchebag. I've never seen a person be such a prick when you're nice to them. I will never understand that. Very strange. I literally had a huge celebrity thing set up for him with two different people. Two different people. He doesn't even know about the third person that was going to be there. And I tried so hard to get him there because if he got there, he would have freaked out. And one of them he knew about because I was saying it everywhere. But the second one he didn't know about and it would have blown his mind. And it would have been awesome. But uh, he did not. He was like, no, fuck you and your bullshit. Okay. We just talked weeks ago and you were nice. But nope, somebody got to him and... Or he's delusional. I don't know. He's an idiot. One of the two. It could just be he's stupid. I don't know. But whatever. Um, But that's funny. 
That guy is literally in his background of his thumbnail. That is funny. <clears throat> That's fairly funny. Man, Joe looks like someone beat the fuck out of you. Yeah, I beat the shit out of myself. I carved myself up with a fucking fork earlier. I mean, it's crazy. I carved myself up with a fork, bro. It was awesome to see Shell last night, too, man. I marked out for that. She came in at the very end of the show last night and dropped a Shell 100. So that was fucking awesome. Uh, anyway, drop some uh, shit in the chat and uh, comments, topics, whatever. We'll keep rolling for a little bit here because, man, it was a really good show tonight for the most part. I really, once again, the FTR stuff, I loved it. I just wish the announcers sold it a little bit better. You know what I mean? I would have liked to see that. You know? So shout out to you guys. How's everybody been tonight, man? Did, what did you guys think? I mean, I'm going to go back to the poll in a second because the poll is pretty crazy. And it, it's it's been very close all night, this poll. And so obviously because of that, you know, I'm going to keep checking it because something might change that adjusts this a little bit and turns things around a little bit. But, man, it's close. It is really close. I get it. Let me see here. Um, the poll is... <clears throat> No, Scorpio Sky and Sammy Guevara are taking it, it looks like. Second place is now tied with... Man, look at how... I can't... This is amazing how close this is. 213 votes. Sammy Guevara is running away with Scorpio Sky a little bit. Wardlow and MJF is number two. And number three is tied. Dude, how epic is this fucking poll? It's not tied anymore, but FTR's taking over it. When this poll started with 50 votes, Fireball was in the lead. Isn't that kind of funny to think about? Think back on it. When this poll was at 50, Fireball was in the lead. You know? Tex, what's up, man? Sting was not on the show tonight. Suburban Cowboy, what's up, dude? This has been an, an awesome night, just like the last couple of nights. Donation bombs going off like crazy. Drew Barr looks like he's taking home the digital JCS championship. We've been streaming for two hours and 20 minutes. And I'm going to open the phone lines. I'm going to open the phone lines up. 339-226-6610. You may call when ready. You can feel free to donate if you'd like to, but, I mean, people have donated so much that, I mean, we donated enough for the whole month, let alone the week. Call up 339-226-6610 and uh, on Skype, and I'll put you on the air if you want to be on the show to tell me what you thought about AEW or to be strange, whatever it is you want to do. underline it like an idiot um okay phone lines are finally open sorry to open them so late but uh hey they're open now 339-226-6610 joe are you watching the pats pick in the draft tomorrow i you know i'll, I'll hear it probably yeah i'll probably have it on in the background if i can if i unless i'm at a sales job or meeting or something then I, I might have to be at something where I, I won't be able to hear it until later. But, you know. All right, all right. The phone lines are open. I just got Skype up. Skype is up. 339-226-6610 if anybody wants to talk. The phone lines are open. There's the number. It's on your screen down below and in the chat. Also, the donation link is up top if anybody wants to, for some reason, do more of that. Super Chat's open. 
regular Streamlabs, Stream Elements, they're all open. Let me just check Stream Elements real quick. Um, yeah, I stabbed myself, bro. I, I took myself out. Do you guys, do you guys want me to stay on the air and like play Diablo or something for a little bit, for a few minutes? I don't know. Like, I'm gonna go to bed soon because I have a big thing tomorrow. Um, I'm actually, I'm actually fucked up right now. I, I, I gotta be honest. Those shots like really rocked me, bro. I cannot believe like this shit tonight, dude. I can't believe you guys donated this much money last night, the night before, and now tonight. I can't believe this, man. I had such a good night tonight because not only did I get home to watch AEW, but I was able to, you know, I was able to see the kids before they went to bed. I was able to watch AEW, and then I was I was excited about reviewing this. And, uh, you know, the drops just made it that much crazier, man. But um, there's some wrestling news that we didn't get to that I'll get to, though. I'll bring up some of the wrestling news because I sometimes forget about doing that because I used to have Jake do it. You know, Jake used to just be like, all right, well, let me give you the news, what's going on besides what we just reviewed, you know. And uh, that used to be a cool part of the show. And sometimes I forget. I get off the air and then I go, wait, all this fucking news I forgot to bring up and talk about. I'm dumb dumb. Uh, but that's what happens when you don't have Jake anymore, man. He's down to 178 pounds or something, so he's, like, so skinny, bro. Um, but uh, I'm sure he's he's feeling bad. He's feeling a little bit better from what I think, from what I talked to him last. Uh, 920, what's up? Hey, Joel. Andy, I talked to you several months ago. Yeah. Just happy to talk to you again and talk about the show tonight. I, I gave the show an 8. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, a lot of the good. things that you're pointing out here is really things that I really liked about it, especially like the moves that Wardlow did. Yeah. I agree with you completely that this guy is going to be a star in the making. And yeah, this is so good. Sammy, the, 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 sto the story is in, too. The story is in amazing. Yeah, and Sammy pushing the heat that I just wish Cody would have embraced the heat that he does with – Turning over to the heel, like Sammy, just one week he was a face, and the next week, okay, you're gonna make me heel. I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna be a heel. Do you? Th I, I wonder. I, I'm starting to wonder because there's only two things, and Jake, Jake's. A, th this goes back as far as when Jake was still on the show, and Jake was always saying that he he thinks Cody is is determined to not be a heel. So he he said Cody does not want to be hated, and that was what Jake said, and I think he's probably right, but. There is a part of me that wonders, too, if one of the reasons he didn't turn also is because he knew he was going to WWE as this massive face. So he's like, well, yeah. I, like I don't want to turn heel. Like, I don't want to do that. Like, go heel here and then show, you know, whatever. So maybe. But I think Jake is probably right that he just, yeah, he wouldn't play ball. Like you just said, he didn't want to do it. And Yeah, and that's the thing with Sammy is he started out with this great thing when he was a heel with Jericho singing the song and everything with him, and he was – like a super heel, then the fans loved him, and he went with that. Now, the week that they started booing him, he's like, okay, you're going to boo me. I'm going to go with it. So he goes with whatever. I just think he is so adaptable with all this. And plus, the things that he does in the ring, are, it's just amazing that he, he's willing to do whatever. And I just really get a kick out of watching him, and I think he's he's just the most adaptable guy out there. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's awesome. Um, I think they've all done a good job, and yeah, most people will, you know, will embrace the hate, and yeah, that's it was weird that Cody wouldn't do it. I, I, I mean, I liked Cody face, so I didn't want him to be heel, but you felt like, yeah, maybe that would be cool because the people seem to want it, and he John Cena them. He was like, nope, I'm John Cena. Yeah. What do you think tonight, man? I'm glad man? he's happy where he is. And everything. yeah, it worked it's, out. It's working out great for him. So, uh, the other thing I want to point out is that. It looks like they're bringing some Impact stars in there, and yep. a lot of the people from Impact are like really bitter about the whole thing, and I can't understand that because they're getting more exposure than they did with Mickey James with the apologies for the trash bag thing. Mm -hmm. Bringing in Deanna next week and bringing in Cass the way it sounds, it's going to get them some exposure. And I always enjoyed Impact. I mean, they put on a good show uh, week to week, Josh Alexander is great. I really get a, I really like his character in there. So 
the more exposure they can get, the better, but just uh, not embracing that. I think that's a mistake for them because any impact, any impact, uh, <laughs> pun intended, for them to get on this is going to be better for them. Yeah, Impact needs all it can, all the exposure it can get, and they they have really put on some great shows that I, you know, I haven't really paid attention to them, and I've always been off and on with them, and but unfortunately they've they've been worthy of being watched, you know. So if anybody's out there thinking about it, I know that I haven't been talking about them much, but they really have put on some some great matches and fun shows. I mean, better stuff than WWE a lot of times, and I mean we watch WWE here, so it's kind of like. You know, why aren't we watching Impact? And part of it's that I'm bitter. But, I mean, they're, they've they been really put on some good shows, so it's something you should check out, you know, if you haven't checked out Impact. Um, they, they just won't go away. They refuse to die. I don't know what – I mean, it's – could you think that – I mean, it's amazing. They have they started out the way they started out. It seemed a bit roguish when they started out, a little sloppy, almost like more mainstream ECW type of thing. And then they – Man, they almost with a southern style, like uh, like an old school southern style, a little bit when they started, and then they really, then they started hitting that stride, you know, around when AJ Styles was on top in 05, 06. and then you know they oh in two to two thousand ten really, and then you know they kind of had that weird part where Hogan came in and all those guys, and it got weird. They changed the ring back to a square, and people didn't really like that, and it was very strange, and. But they still had that. I mean, they had this mega power, these mega names, and this stuff going on. This buzz. They had a million viewers, um, and then they just slowly, you know, they they do they they dropped a little bit, right? And then when Matt Hardy did the whole delete thing, they brought the crowd back up to about eight hundred thousand, and then after that, they kind of just kind of collapsed and went downward. And, and now they're where they're at now, which is, it's amazing to think. What do they get? How many views? How many people tune in Impact? 150, 300,000 or less? Yeah, they're in that range. I think they're moving up. I think Scott Demore is really a good uh, positive influence for them because he's a little bit different with the whole thing. I really like Scott Demore as mm-hmm. their booker and everything. He's w- obviously willing to work with AEW. He's obviously willing to work with competition. He's brought people in and everything. I think that's the best thing they got going for him, and I also well, think I th- between Moose he's willing to and- work with it. He's willing to work with them because they're fucking. Do- they're like you know they're they have a life preserver over them. Yeah, but he's trying to do something about it where some of the other people didn't. Right. And between Moose and Josh Alexander, I think that's a really good story. Their pay per views have really been good. I mean, when they put a pay per view on, it's obviously the prices. Some people when they're cutting, you know, cutting the budget and trying to figure out what to watch or not, but their pay per views have been good. So, you know, how long are they going to last? They're always going to be like that NWA thing where they're always there. They, if they, I thought if they got some kind of advertisement and some kind of major network deal, if they can get a break, they can be in there. Obviously, they're not going to be WWE and. AEW because they just don't have that kind of backing behind them, but they're fun to watch. I watch them on a weekly basis. Yeah, it's it's um it's something that I wish I could jump into again, maybe. Um, and you know if I had the time, you know I might watch them if I had the time. Like if I was if I had quit, you know if I didn't have to work my other two jobs at this point, and I was just watching wrestling again, like it's 2018, 2017, back when I did this completely full time. I probably would watch it because I'd be looking for anything to go live or to talk about again. You know what I mean? To do more of, to do more content. So I probably would watch it if that was the case. But right now, that's the only reason I don't. And so I just tell people, you should watch it. You should check it out. And um, they, they for and even in the, pan, the pandemic, they did a good job. I remember thinking like they're doing a really good job of, you know, what they had to do with no audience. Like they, they really did. They did a pretty good job of, of empty arena stuff. They had some solid moments there where it was like that was pretty good and there's nobody in the building. So yeah, they were pretty good. And you know, you almost want, I almost thought like I, I thought they might merge with Ring of Honor. That's what I thought was gonna happen. And instead, you know, AEW buys Ring of Honor. Will AEW buy Impact? I mean but it seems like Impact isn't up for sale. It seems like they really like the guy that owns it, don't the doesn't the owl still own them? Yeah, I'm not sure. It's uh, either the owl or the uh, 
network that that at AXS, the Access? network that owns them. Yeah, I think, and and that's not a very well broadcasted. I mean, a lot of the cable networks have it, but mostly does old rock stuff and things like that. So. I don't know oh, how oh, much still, exposure that gets. A lot of cable networks carry it, but not all of them. It's still impa- it's still Anthem that owns them, so it's still the owl that owns them or the parent yeah. company. But yeah, the parent company is is Anthem, but Access is the channel, and I don't know how many. I mean, I guess it really depends. Honestly, it depends on their sales department, right? So if if Access is really good at selling ads, I guess. Like, but they they have to make sure that they're getting fifty to a hundred thousand views on something in order to sell the ads at a certain price. Then, yeah. hey, I mean, if the ad, if the sales team is really good and they and they're like, it doesn't matter, we need to have a show that has a hundred thousand views or fifty thousand views, and that's what they're getting. Then, I mean, they'll keep that's fine because the sales team is selling them and they're making the ads where they need to be. So, and you know, I don't know. Then so it's got to matter. It's got to be doing something right, or they just wouldn't be there anymore. I can't. I wouldn't imagine. So, I I'd love to see the ratings of what are they on Access? You said TV. Yeah, they're Access TV on Thursday nights. Uh, it's on here <clears> where <throat> I am at seven six Central or seven Central. And I mean, they had a deal with Twitch for quite a while that when you couldn't get it, you could watch it on Twitch. Yeah. And that kind of went to the wayside. So Yeah, but, I know they I stopped mean, broadcasting on trying. Twitch. I used to see them on Twitch, and I used to kind of check that out. So, well, I'm going to let you go. All right. Thanks a lot for taking my call. And I watch you nightly, and I'm really glad to see you getting all the donors and everything because I, I absolutely love your show. So Thank you very take much. Take care, and I'll talk to you again. Thank you, sir. Good shit. Appreciate that, man. What a great call. What a nice guy. He's got to be, is he, where is he from? Is he Canadian? I should have asked him. Sounded Canadian or maybe Minnesota or something like that. Minnesota's close. Um, let me see. Let me see if there's a rating here. Um, let me see. Let's see. Yeah, he's got to be up in Canada, right? Shout out to him, man. I have family in Nova Scotia, so it sounds like a Nova Scotia accent. Over there in Nova Scotia there, I got family up there. Only a few, but from there, legit. Oh, I see. I'm spelling Axis wrong. Okay, let's see. TV ratings, ax, Axis. Do they give impact ratings out? Um... I'm trying to find the... Okay, here you go. Oh, no, this isn't it. Uh, Paramount Network, formerly Spike TV, 396,000 in prime time. Yikes. Prior to the move, Access Impact Pursuit. Da, 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 da. Dude, what is the dog doing upstairs? Let me go find out what my dog is doing. She's like freaking out upstairs. Let me go back in time and play a little bit. 96,000 in prime. I'm going to see what my dog's doing. I'll be right back. Mr. Pico Boulevard. Drew Bar could be winning this thing, man. Lance Archer, same win total in year as Lance. Stuff, but you're not going to see people unless unless they lose their temper, which could happen. It happens often in situations like this. Somebody loses their temper. Somebody loses, you know, competition brings out a different side of you. And if somebody loses their composure, this thing will change into a regular match, man, and they'll forget about it. But, uh, you know, you got to believe going into this that they both plan on just trying to keep it easy, not get anybody hurt. They're the tag team champions of AAA and Ring of All, whatever else. You know, so you got to be careful, and I'm sure they discussed it. And, and they're going to come out and do a lot of wrestling holds. So some people may be, you know, you know, some people may be a little disappointed here, to be honest, because this is going to be a very, uh, you know, catches catch can type of style, which Owen Hart and Bret Hart certainly had, and this is the Owen Hart classic and blah, blah, blah. So they could have really built that up. And then, and then, you know, one of the people, it would have been nice if one of the guys was a heel or if even somebody was like, 
maybe like uh, uh, Tony Schiavone. Tony Schiavone was like, I don't know, man. You know, you know what can happen in these things. All bets are off when you get in there. Somebody gets angry. I'm telling you, something could happen. One of these guys could end up killing each, one another out there, and you know, stuff that's been boiling on their minds throughout the years on the road. And you start thinking about all the bad things or little things that piss you off about your friend, and uh, it all just starts. You never know what can happen, man. You never and. And, and the minute that that starts happening in the match where they start getting a little physical and slapping or punching or, I mean, I would have been like, here we go. See what I mean? It's breaking down now. The game plan's out the window. Well, no doubt about it. The game plan's out the window. Dax is firing off shots now, and this isn't what they planned on. you know. And, and that would have been, I think the commentary could have told a better story. And if we had a promo from these guys, hey, we're going to go out there. Obviously, we're going to have a little wrestling match. We're going to take it easy. You know, we don't want to lose our titles. We're going to go out there. We have a very, we've already figured out, you know, hey, man, we're not going to be, you know, we're not going to be DDTing each other and doing something that could break a neck or hurt, you know. But we're going to go out there. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a wrestling match. And then it would be great to see how this turned out because they set it up that way. They got rougher and rougher and rougher. They started very soft, and then they got rougher and rougher. And they did that on purpose because no two guys that love each other that are tag team partners are going to go out there and then just start slugging each other right away. I see this sometimes with other tag teams when they fight each other, and it's the stupidest thing. The only one thing that I would have gotten rid of in this match is the pile driver. That is That should have been huge. When he pile drove him, that should have been a big thing. Like... Like, no, you got to be, he's going to pile drive his, his, his tag team partner. What the hell? Oh, my God. All bets are off now. Like, that sort of thing. Like, what is he doing? That's it. That's it. They're done. That's it. He snapped. He snapped. Everything's out the window now. You just delivered a pile driver to your tag team partner. You could break a neck, paralyze somebody. They, this is everything that they planned on is out the window now. And now we're seeing anything goes. This is getting interesting, boys. But they didn't really do that. Now, CM Punk tried to do it. CM Punk was there, to, and he was kind of doing it. In fact, I forgot CM Punk was on commentary. So CM Punk should have been the guy, and he was, but he should have been the guy even more to be like, Nah, man, I've seen this before. This doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they tell you before. Oh, we're going to start the match wrestling and everything. When they get down in it, Something, somebody's going to make a move. Somebody's going to go against the grain. Somebody's going to break whatever rules that they came up with for the last couple of days or whatever. Somebody is going to cross the line. You watch what happens. I've seen it before. And then CM Punk could have been like, see, here it comes. Here it comes. And and they they sort of didn't do that. You know what I mean? They, they, they sort of didn't do that. They sort of just... Um, they, they, they sort of did a little bit, but they really could have laid that on and told this story better. They did a really good job for the most part, but it could have been so much better. Anyway, I'm sorry to rant on this and go deep down the rabbit hole on it. I just think that they could have done a little bit more with it, but I loved it. I still loved it. I loved it. I loved the way it progressed into a fight more of a real match as opposed to how it started, which the catch, catch, can, the wrist locks, wrestling holds, the ups and downs, and the stuff that you would do if you were going to have a friendly competition with your friend or a competitive competition with your friend, you wouldn't just start slugging each other in the throat. You know what I mean? So it made great sense. The match made perfect sense. I would have eliminated the pile driver because I think once you do a pile driver, it's kind of like, ooh. And I know it was a lot of Owen Hart type of moves, and that was the, you know, whatever. I get it. It was great. I just thought, you know, a little too far with the pile driver. But I thought also if you're going to do the pile driver, the announcers, the commentary team should have popped. Like, oh, boy. Like, now they, they did mention it. They did say you could, you could you know, hurt your tag team partner, you know, but it was like they should have laid it on more. Like, oh, man, it's out the window now. It's... If Jesse Ventura was there, he would say that. You know what I mean? Like, well, these guys, you know, they're friends, and, you know, we're going to see a little competition here. We're probably not going to get too much physicality, though, because I'm sure they've agreed on some things to certain moves they're not going to do and stuff. You know, so, wow, it's been a lot. You've never been in the, be the, the wrestling business, have you? What do you mean, Jesse? You know, you think these guys are really going to stick to the game plan of wrestling and wrist locks? Oh, I'll be here when it breaks down. Okay, Jesse. All right, and you know, and then it would have been, would have been great. Told you, 
Here it comes, a pile driver. He could have broke his neck. You think that they're they're thinking clearly now? They're thinking about the ch- the trophy, the Owen Hart. They're thinking about who loves Owen more. They're not thinking about each other anymore. A pile driver. Here we go. I told you. You know that sort of thing. Like it would have been great if we had that sort of combativeness on the commentary. We didn't quite get it, but it would have been beautiful if they had done that. You know what I mean? So they missed a big opportunity there. Because I think this was a great match and a good setup. Maybe a 7-5 or an 8 out of 10. Probably an 8 out of 10 opening match. Nice stuff. Good way to warm the crowd up. Nice honor to Owen. You know, Dax and Wheeler loving it. You know, they had a good time. I loved the match. Um, Great stuff. The match was long. It was 20 minutes. The first 20 minutes was this. CM Punk on commentary was beautiful as well. But th- this could have been an 8-5 or a 9, in my opinion, if the commentary really sold the hell out of it. You know, it could have been an 8-5, eight, 8-8 eight, eight situation, but I'd have to give it a 7-5, 8 out of 10. Um, so nice opening, though. But, yeah, just a little complaint department there. My, you know, sorry about that to complain, but got to do it. S- Super S- chat party S- coming in from... Super chat party! Mr. Pico Boulevard. Oh, yeah? Lance Archer, same win total in year as Lance Cade. Lance Archer, same win total in the year as Lance Cade. That's that's fucking fucked up, bro. Uh, Mr. Pico Boulevard, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> Lance Archer is just not good, bro. He did a good job taking those power bombs tonight, though. I will say that. But good Lord, he's not good. You know, Lance Archer. And if everybody gets in my way, everybody dies. Him and Jake Roberts are on like my doll or something. Like, you I don't know donated oh, shit. 50 bucks. Whoa. I'm going to take my dick out because you donated Whoa. 50 bucks. You donated 50 bucks, motherfucker boy. I'm a rich motherfucker. Joe Cronin in the cut. <laughs> Is that the movie I'm going to be in? Joe Cronin stars in the new movie, The Cut, from The Ghost. From the coast. What's up, crackers? Hit that like button and stick the thumb directly up my ass. The ghost from the coast. Thank you, ghost from the coast, man. It's great to hear from you. Holy shit, man. He dropped 50 bucks. Dude, after the other night of all the bombs, and then this guy is still coming in tonight to drop $50. Ghost, thank you, man. The coast. From the cost? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, ghost from the coast. Thank you very much, Ghost. Much appreciated, bro. Uh, we'll get you up there, man. You you may be taking over Drew Bar's title. Drew Bar uh, could be relinquishing the JCS Digital Championship belt tonight. Uh, I don't think anybody is going to be able to... Uh, you know, I mean, he had a great, great showing the other night. So I just want to shout him out one more time. The other night, Drew Bar 100 took that JCS Digital Championship top donations easily with $201 donated. It was a spirit animal like performance from him the other night. So thank you to Drew Bar. But tonight, somebody has the chance to become the new JCS Digital Champion. And right now, it's the ghost from the coast, and we'll be tweeting this out later if he wins it. Um, but moving on back to everything. So CM Punk's on commentary. I enjoyed that. Like I said, I think the, the commentary could have been better to sell. Like, oh, my God, they were wrestling, and, and, and now it's turned into a real fight. Friendships don't matter when you're pissed off. You know, they could have been all these lines. They didn't use them. But uh, whatever. CM Punk comes out. Thank you. Ghost from the coast with a huge $50 bomb. That's a bomb, bro. That's a bomb on a Wednesday night. No doubt about it, sir. Man, thank you so much for that, man. I can't even believe that. We're on some kind of a roll three nights in a row, bro. Thank you, man. What the hell? I was bleeding last night. I did. I broke glass everywhere. I broke plates everywhere. And I got. And I busted myself wide open, and I broke plates all over the place. So, uh... My wife wasn't too happy that I broke one of her favorite plates, but, you know, here's some tampon money. You know what I mean? So, hey. Whoa, what? Oh, my God! 
What are we doing every night? Every night. In the spot all day. What are we doing? I want you to jam me. Oh my god! Out of control! Ooh, it's the sound wave! It's the sound wave! 92! Oh my god! Audio jungle. Decent episode, but nothing. I'm back. That was where Soundwave dropped the donation. Uh, tonight has been crazy, guys. I just want to thank you again for this. Let's wrap it up. Let's bring it home because, obviously, I think I'm so I'm so drunk, I'm buzzed and tired. But let's bring it home, man. We did a couple of songs tonight. We did rants. We did phone call. Lots of donations were insane. Again, three nights in a row. I've completely lost my voice. Which is a big thing of why I'm dying here. Um, and it looks like Drew Barr is going to take home the JCS Digital Championship. So drop it in the chat. If you got something else to say, just uh, chat it away. Um, this is something I didn't talk about yet today, but earlier AEW production truck was involved in a car accident before Dynamite. I don't know if you guys saw this, but uh, D. Welsh, I believe, was the one that sent it to me. Uh, probably a few other people did actually too, and I, I didn't get the credit on that. But um, let me see. Uh, uh, let me see here. Let's go. Um. Da -da 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 -da. Um. Let's see. <laughs> There's a troll account of me in Tommy's background. Now so <laughs> Picharo just sent me a picture that there's also a troll of me in his background. <laughs> Look at this. But there's a <laughs> YR <laughs> Joe Cronin. <laughs> like that that's Tommy's fans now. Tommy Tommy's fans in his chat are now the trolls of the whole community. I, I watched him a couple months ago, back, you know, before he was a scumbag again. And his whole chat was made up of evil, fucked up people. And he didn't even have them blocked. He's got me blocked. But, which is good, because I'm glad, because you should know it's not me, because I'm blocked. And I wouldn't watch him anyway. But um, it's like the whole his whole chat, like 75% of his chat are people from like our shows back in the day who are being nice to him. And then there's like all trolls, like blatant trolls. People from back in the day, and then people who are like evil people, trolls, and he doesn't even know it, and they're just saying fucking crazy things. I don't know, bro. It's sad. It's it's pretty sad. You know, you you go live, and thirty people are watching you, and twenty four of them are bad people. <laughs> like it's like, what do you like? He, I don't even know if he has a regular audience anymore. They're all from here. If I didn't exist, his chat would be eight people. You know what I mean? But. Unfortunately, most of them are bad people, but, you know, what a dumb dumb though. But let me see here. What's, uh, oh, yeah, it's Welsh. Welsh that sent me this, yeah. D. Welsh uh, sent me this tweet earlier. <clears throat> Take a look at this. The AEW truck involved in an accident. And I don't know if the truck driver's fault or if it's the car's fault. I don't know if the truck drove into the car, but this looked like, this looks like the, I don't know, it looks like the car drove into the truck, to be honest. Like, but... I, oh, well, I don't know, actually. It might have been that the truck turned into the car. I can't really tell. I'm trying to think about it physics-wise. Um, but the way the car's turned, it makes me think he turned into the truck. But I, that could just be cha by chance. I don't know, man. Wow. The driver is okay, but don't text and drive. <laughs> well, I'm assuming then that the car driver's default at fault and not the AEW truck driver. But I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Not that it matters that much, as long as everybody's okay. That's all that matters. You don't want anybody to be hurt. I can figure out the insurance shit later. Who cares? Um, wow. AEW fan base referred to AEW Galaxy in reference to WWE Universe. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, I heard that. 
We didn't talk about that at all, but yeah, heard that. Top Impact Star comments on AEW debut. We talked about this with the caller earlier and, and earlier tonight. People in the chat were bringing it up. Deanna Prazo coming to AEW. Thank you, Wrestling Inc. website for always being good with all this stuff. Jeff Hardy match. Deanna Perrazzo and more announced for next week's Dynamite. Um, let's see. You know what I love about you know what I love about the advertisements on WrestlingInc.com. I love Raj Jiri, by the way. Shout out to Raj; he's always been a good friend. Um, <laughs> Jeff Hardy matched Deanna Perrazzo, former WWE star, tease for next week's AEW Dynamite. 97% of Christians can't pass this basic Bible quiz? What? <laughs> it's so random in there. I don't know, bro. That's just too funny. Oh, somebody sent me the rap that Max Caster did, I think, the other day. And I don't know where it is. AEW Dynamite reportedly heavily rewritten following him in page four. COVID diagnosis. Dude, I didn't even know that. Did you know that? I did not know that. Why we, Why haven't we talked about that at all tonight? I had no clue. AEW Dynamite reportedly heavily rewritten following Hangman Page COVID diagnosis. So Hangman has COVID? I didn't even know that. Where the fuck have I been? I had no clue that Hangman had COVID. Dynamite, Dynamite tonight is at 8 p.m. on TBS, but I will not be there because my face is full of COVID snot. Sorry, please enjoy regardless. That's what that's what Paige tweeted at 9 a.m. this morning, and I didn't know about it. Wow, how do I not hear about that? That's crazy. Let me try to find the uh, the Max Caster rap that I, I have. I think it's it might be from the dark from next week's dark, maybe, or is it? I don't quite remember which one it is, but I know I've got it somewhere. Somewhere in here. Mm. We'll find it. We'll find it in here somewhere. We plan the spot all day. I just want to jam it in. I guess to drink each other's blood might mislead people or like people are imagining us with like goblets and we're like Game of Thrones drinking each other's blood. It's just a few drops, but yes, we do consume each other's blood on occasion for ritual purposes only. <laughs> it is used for a reason and it is controlled where it's like, let's shed a few drops of blood and each drink it. He's much more haphazard and hectic and chaotic where he's willing to just like cut his chest open with broken glass and be like, take my soul. Let me bleed on you. It doesn't not happen, let me tell you. Maybe not exactly like that, but it a version of that has happened uh, many times. Okay, so uh, Hollywood people drink their own blood and drink baby's blood, confirmed. Um, but anyway, that was not related to what I was looking for, but interesting nonetheless. Um, da, 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 da. Do I have this Max Caster wrap? I'm still looking for it. I swear to God, it's here somewhere. Man, I want to see Chelsea Ray's pussy. I don't tell you that. Sorry. Um, let's see here. I'm still looking for it. Maybe I didn't save it. I thought I saved it. Fuck, man. Maybe I didn't save it. Shit. Did anybody have it? Anybody have it on Twitter? It was a uh, it was a recent Max Caster rap that I think wasn't on TV, but pe but it was on. Maybe it was on YouTube. Oh, here it is. I found it. I got 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 it. Yo, yo, listen up. Yo, listen, 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 listen. Yo, 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 yo. The acclaim, nobody here stopping us. Why is Penta hanging out with Count Chocula? <laughs> Your oh new my look God. is not great. Two grown men and they going through it a looks scot like face. my little In last Pittsburgh, you got to stop shaving. Oh, we heard this one. I heard this one. Hey, what's up, Joe? How's it going? <laughs> I just saw you were to live. It is late for a Wednesday night. 
I simply have one question. Mm. Historical fight we have seen these two before. So we have Narendra Modi versus Karl Marx. Batye of the Beards who wins? Oh, Battle of the Beards? Um, we got to go with, um, I think it's Karl Marx we got to go with, right? Karl Marx. Who's the guy with the beard that goes all the way around? Yeah, we got to go with Karl Marx, bro. That guy's beard is retarded. Like, I mean, historical fights, what's going on, my friend? Karl Marx looks like one of those fucking fruity dogs that the that the couples would have that they'd, like, probably fucking rape. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, this you really can't touch this fucking full facial beard that goes around his entire head. Dude, his sideburns are the same length as his all his hair. His chin beard. I mean, dude, what the fuck kind of testosterone is this guy on? What does his pubic hair look like? Can you even see Karl Marx's dick? Dude, what the fuck is this? Dude, I want to beat this man to like uh, beat him up in public for for just looking like this. What the fuck is this, bro? Are you serious? Nobody can touch this fucking weird fuck's hair. All right? With his fucking Neanderthal forehead that sticks out like breasts. Bro, he's got a receding hairline and then the most hair I've ever... Dude, what is this? Is this real? Is this a real picture? Did he really dye his hair or was it just colored this way? What the fuck is this, dude? And in every photo, it's like this too. Like black and white, real photo. The, the stash is dark. The rest of the hair is white. Dude, what the hell was this guy fucking smoking, drinking, and taking? Dude, why does Karl Marx look like fucking Mike, like, like Michelangelo's dildo? I don't know. He, he just looks wild. Yeah, you're right. Rasputin is pretty wild. You're right. That's a great point. This is something else, though. I don't know. I, I don't really, I don't really, a lot of the people that worship Karl Marx nowadays are, um, are not good. Seemingly people, and it's kind of dangerous type of thinking. But Karl Marx did have a lot of interesting and smart takes on a lot of things. But but also Karl Marx spawned a whole bunch of people who like are fucking nuts. And Marxism is like a, like a Marxist thing. Is a lot of Marxism is scary. Some of it. So I don't know, man. But a lot. But there were many things that he was very smart on, and 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 he had a good point about. And I, but I I really actually don't just don't know enough about him, like to say. But I do know that a lot of the people nowadays that that worship him, are fucking crazy, and for whatever reason that is, I don't know. Maybe he had some other beliefs that I don't know about that are crazy, and I know he did have some things that were wild, but. He he had a little bit of both, in my opinion. He had some really great ideas that were very interesting and some smart takes. But then he was also a fucking nutcase in some ways. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know enough, you know, to be honest. I just know that a lot of people uh, that follow his stuff are kind of whacked out. But, uh, yeah, Karl Marx, I mean, he looks like a fucking... Like, if you if you raped a dog for seven years... And the dog was never able to tell his truth. That's what Karl Marx looks like in this photo. Like, if, if if you were to rape an animal for seven years, and then the animal could never tell anybody, it, that it would look like this. It, it would just look like... Uh, uh. <clears throat> Drew Barr says more wild shit than the other. Yeah, probably then. Yeah, I don't know. He doesn't. He seems a little whacked. Maybe I'll do some studying on him a little bit. And I'll get radic I'll get radicalized, you know. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> um, let me see. Everyone has a pronoun, and you shouldn't be assuming what they are. Just like you shouldn't assume what someone's name is, right? Like if I. What the fuck is wrong with these people, man? Is This per this person is talking about five-year-olds. Why are you teaching five-year-olds any of this? It's fucking retarded. What is this? 
So this one is about pronouns. Now I'm going to start with a preface that you should be talking to your students about pronouns. No, you shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. Oh my God, bro. If you talk to my if you talk to my kid about pronouns, I'm coming to the school to fuck you up. Because it's just not part of the course. If you talk to my kid about the Bible and all this shit, I'm coming to beat you up. You talk about pronouns, I'm coming to beat you up. You better fucking teach my kid how to fucking say his ABCs, one, two, threes, and all that shit. And being good to people, that's fine too. But you start te teaching my kids some weird fucking random shit at five years old, get the fuck out of here. Everyone has a pronoun, and you shouldn't be assuming what they are. Just like you shouldn't assume what someone's name is, right? Like, yeah, five-year-olds don't need to, no. If I went up to you and I was like, hey, George, and you're like, no, my name's Kyle. And I said, no, it's George. And you were like, no, it's Kyle. And then I responded by saying... Okay, so she's literally proving why you don't need to do this, because if a kid raises... If a kid raises his hand, and then you look around the room and you go, um, let me pick on, um, well, I, I picked him. I picked him. When are you going to use pronouns? When are you going to do that? So if, if a girl is going to the bathroom and the teacher says, um, she's, she's going to the bathroom, no one says anything. Then one day, the teacher says, uh, she's going to go to the bathroom. And then she, who's five years old, says, Oh, I'm not she, I'm they. Well, then, then the teacher can say, oh, okay, you prefer to be called they? Yes. Okay. And they go to the bathroom. That's it. There you go. You solved it. You said she, and then she told you she wants to be called they. Go ahead and call her they. What happens if she says she wants to be called llama face? Do you call her llama face? Like, Kids don't need to be taught about pronouns at five years old because that doesn't make sense. You're not teaching them. You're telling them. You're, you're indoctrinating them into this way of thinking. You're not asking them what theirs are. You're telling them and teaching them about this weird shit that they don't know or need to know about at five years old. What? What kid is going to be like, oh, I'm not she. I'm not he. It's not going to happen. And if it is going to happen, it's up to the parents to take care of that. God, man, these people need to be fucking choked. Oh my god, dude. There's this is the you are like you are so stupid, but this person teaches kids. This person teaches fucking children. You're an idiot. Oh, if I say your name's Michael, no, it's John. Yeah, well, if the if the child says, the child says, I'm not he. I feel I'm a girl. First of all, it's going to be super rare that that ever happens. But if it does, you can acknowledge it and say, okay. That's it. But you don't need to teach all the other kids. Because chances are, most of the kids are going to remain as you would think. Looks like my little Fucking lass stupid. needs a shave. And the rest are going to tell their parents and they're going to hey, come after you. Hey, what's up, Joe? I laugh so hard at you making fun of Karl Marx's beard. Ha ha. <laughs> I was wondering though this is important. How does his beard compare to Srendra Modi's beard, the current leader of India? You looked at his pics the other night. Modi versus Marx. Yeah, I mean like Modi's, it's Modi, bro. It's got to be Modi. I mean, listen, the India guy, I like him. He's got a nice beard, but it's fairly regular. You know what I mean? He's got a really nice beard. Whoa, yeah, listen up. I'm so glad to be here on the radio. I'm glad to be calling this Joe Cronin show. And America is a love this country. And I loved my beard. The only thing I don't love about your country anymore is that you've taken a poo off the Simpson. I love that show. We love that character. My whole family loves that character. And now oh, it's gone. And there's no Apu. I hate that you weird uh, woke asshole 
in America, you get so woke, it break the show, and now I don't watch the... the hold on a minute. There's making a lot of noise. Sati, shut the hell up! Sati, shut up! Shut up! I'm on the Joe Cronin show, Sati! Shut the fuck up, you dumb whore! You dumb whore, shut up! I'll kill you, Sati! Oh my god, I'm on the phone and you, you're fucking, you making banging noise around in the kitchen. Clean the dishes later! Clean the dishes later! You dumb, you dumb bitch! You bitch, Sati! Hello, I'm sorry I'm back. I, am I off the mute? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think, I don't think you went on mute. We, we heard you yelling at your wife. Oh no. You, I, ah, ha, 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 yes, that is joke from here, ha, <laughs> ha, you laugh about that. I, oh, it was, that was a joke when you called your wife a, I mean, I heard your wife in the back, are you like, is she an actor? What do you, it sounded like you were yelling at her. No, oh, no, this did not, eh, just in case the tabloid call, I know it's all a set up a comedy, like a Howard Stern. Ha ha ha, ba oh my goodness. Anyway, I got to go. I've got to go. Goodbye, Joe. All right, goodbye, sir. Thank you for joining us. What an amazing guest. I mean, we could never get the president of our country on the air, and it's really good to get uh, to get him. I mean, oh, man, that was incredible. So um, we were probably going to... Um, you next time, Sati, you dumb bitch. You listen. I'm on the phone and you fucking make a noise like a whore. You fucking goddamn whore. Uh, sir, you're still on the air. Sir, you didn't uh, hang up your phone. Sir, Mr. President. I'll kill you, you cock sucking cunt ass. You cunt ass bitch. You fuck stick. You fucking useless dog. This is what I hear when you talk. All I hear is run, 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 run. Yeah, you die, you bark like a dog. A chinkly eat you. A chinkly eat you. Oh my God! Did you just call her? Oh, sir, please hang up your phone. You let me. I'll hang up on him. All right. Let me just. Okay, we. Lo there we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. That is. <laughs> That is probably going to be on TMZ tomorrow. I'm just going to say. Wow. Um, listen, it's a good beard, but I, I've i still got to give it to Karl Marx, you know. Wow. I, it's clearly, you know, it's a different country over there. You know, I, I don't, they have liberties with their women. I mean, it happens here too, kind of, so. You know, no judgment on that. I mean, in America, people chop their fucking family up and stuff. You know, it's it's weird. Whew. All right. Um. Well, that was a what a call. A pretty. Uh, Debe's uh, slip and slide. Thank you for the three dollars. Um, really appreciate that, man. That was an absolute savage situation there. Call coming in. Um and wild. <coughs> Jesus. Good lord. But I think we got to wrap it up, guys. Um, it is it is really late. I was really late last night. I, I just I couldn't believe I was going to do two hours again. And here we are, three hours of a show and uh, literally insane amounts of donations tonight. And it looks like the man himself, Drew Barr, is taking home the JCS Digital Championship. That is fire. That's amazing. He is sexy. And he's hard. Um, and that's it, man. Tomorrow night, tomorrow I will be, I will have some stuff out for you in the middle, middle of the day at some point. Um, and s something on Patreon as well, probably audio, some kind of podcast or something. I hope I really do tomorrow on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin show. And then I should be live tomorrow night for a little bit. I don't know what time. Um, but you know, then monetize this is Friday night. And then of course, Saturday night. We'll, I don't know when Beat the Clock is going to be, if it's going to be Friday or Saturday, though. Um, but I will let you know. I think it might be Saturday night Beat the Clock. Or I don't know, because, yeah, Saturday night will be starting late. So, you know, it might be it might end up being Friday. I don't know. But we had bombs all over the place. Bombs up the ass. And we're going to be tweeting out. It looks like we're going to be tweeting out that Drew Bar won this JCS 
digital championship tonight because he dropped a big sexy pants. He really did. A big sexy pants. And now I just need some outro music. Whoa. Jesus Christ. That was loud. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had fun tonight because I sure did. He is Drew Bar. He is the champ. He is Drew Bar. He is the champ. He is Drew Bar. He is the champ. He is Drew Bar. He's the champ. He he likes to drop the bombs. He likes to drop the bombs. He likes to drop the bomb. He bar. Good night, everybody. Mwah! Hit that like button and stick the thumb directly up my ass on the way out. Drew Bar dropping bombs. Thank you to everybody who did drop the bombs tonight. Uh, D. Welsh, hundreds of dollars. The Ghost from the Coast. Hundreds of dollars. Soundwave 92. Hundreds of dollars. D. Welsh, Colonel Stutters, Alex Oli, Mr. Pico, Todd Fayer. So many others. Tonight was nuts. Fucking nuts. Good night. I'm Joe Cronin. Subscribe. Follow me on JCS Commentary on Twitter. You can suck. Me off. Good night, Drew Bar. Thank you, dude. Thank you, Drew Bar. And the man, Juan Garibay, is here. Thank you, Juan Garibay. What's been up, man? And the poll is officially over. Number two is Wardlow MJF. Sammy and Scorpio Sky. The ladder match wins tonight's best part of the night. FTR in third place, barely just above the fireball. I hope Sammy Guevara is okay. I really do think he sustained a concussion tonight. We'll see. And we'll see you tomorrow. An episode of Note to Self on Patreon should be going up tomorrow. Note to Self. This is Wardlow from AEW, and you're watching The Joe Cronin Show. A wrestling podcast with attitude.